Good morning! It's your favourite time of the week. It's the time where we all get to just take a deep breath and spend the next two hours doing some awesome sewing projects. And my word, have I got some awesome sewing projects lined up for you. Whether you are an experienced sewer and just looking for some really awesome product, you are a bit of a beginner sewer like me and you're wanting a couple of new ideas of something you can try, or perhaps you are someone who's not done it before and not done it in years and you're just stuck in lockdown and wanting something to be able to crack on with a new hobby that you want to explore we've got something for everyone I, honestly guys i've got the most amazing couple of hours planned and we're live we're interactive so come and be a part of our show if you're watching us on facebook and you're not on the crafters tv facebook page because i know we share this to all of our different pages head on over to crafters tv because joe's here and he's going to be checking all of your comments if you're watching us on youtube hopefully you've got us on the big telly but you can have us on the big telly and you can be commenting along with us on facebook are you going to be keeping up with all the comments joe i'm going to try my best we had so many of you watching and commenting along last week any questions that you've got whatsoever as sarah said uh drop over onto crafters tv uh, and i'll be there in the facebook um in the facebook live answering all your comments as well having a bit of a nitter natter which is what i think i do best you know sarah <laughs> It's all right for some. You just you just have a bit of a natter over there. I'll do all the hard work over here. Actually, I'm really excited about this morning show. I spent all last night preparing for this. I've got a wonderful bag that I'm going to show you as part of our first demonstration. But before we get into the demonstrations, we want to try and give you a heads up of some of the things on the show. This is... I, honestly, I've pulled out all the stops to get you this today, so I hope you guys massively appreciate it. Oh yes, we've done an amazing mystery bag, okay? So, what we've got is over £120 worth of product. Just let that resonate. £120 with over $150. It is the most uber bumper massive mystery bag we've ever done in the world of sewing, right? So do you want to have a look, a little look at what we've got? Now, when it comes to fabrics, you're not going to get exactly these fabrics, but we've put you two fabulous half metres. So can you see how much we've got? Actually, they're not half metres. Look at this. You've got two full metres of fabric, right? You almost can't <laughs> see me, right? Uh, so we've put two different ones. And... Do you know, Joe always seems to articulate this really well. We don't stock anything that's not a really popular fabric. So actually, all you're going to get is fantastic fabrics. It's not a case of what we've got at the end of the show. It's, it's literally, we, we've got what we've got. So two different metres of fabrics you're going to get in there. Then we're going to include even more. We're going to give you one of our bolts of four leather. And also, we like mini bolts, a mini bolt of four leather and a mini bolt of cotton fabric. So super soft cotton fabric in there as well. So you'll get two of our mini bolts, inclu bolts included as well. Now, in every bag, you're going to get a, a how-to DVD. Now, these DVDs are all $14.99. Again, it's going to be a random assortment, but it's just nice for you to learn different techniques from some of the experts we have here. We're well, well, well over the value. There's more than the fabric value just in what you're getting in the, in the mystery bag. Now, for those of you who are into doing your um, quilting, we've put two of our quilting stencils in here. They don't have to be for quilting. They can just be for fabulous stitching guides as well. So you've got two of those included in here. Uh, we've included a couple of our die sets for those of you that want to try a little bit of die cutting. Uh, we've also included some of our special twines in here and one of our ink pads so that you can have a go at some fabric stamping. All together, that's over £120 worth of value. Now, they're just telling me already over 5% of the stock and I've only just shown you it and that is people checking out their baskets. We can actually only work out exact numbers sold once you have fully checked out your baskets. We've got some amazing deals in the show today um, but they're not all going to last the whole time. So I wanted to just give you a heads up on the um, on the fabulous mystery bag that we've got. Obviously, Tuesday mornings, we'd usually have my good friend, John Scott, here in the studio. And he can't be in the studio. John's on uh, lockdown at home at the moment. But he always does us a nice little video to send in to be part of the show. So let's have a look what John's got for us this morning. Morning, Sarah. 
Laura. Do you know what? Sunny's pulled a blinder today. I can't tell. This is the most fantastic sunrise special. And I know how busy it was this morning when I first showed this at eight o'clock. So I, I think there's some left. We'll need to check with Sunny. But do you know if you go to the website, right, you can buy the um, fat quarter bundle from CAFE. There's five fat quarters for £26.50, and pence, right? Remember that. One fat quarter bundle, £26.50. and pence. You get five fat quarters. My deal this morning is not one, it's not two, it's three of those fat quarters for £50. Oh, no, look, look, look. You get all of these, you get all of these, you get all of these. Aren't they just beautiful? Absolutely stunning. Now, they're still available on the website. So, now, if you want to buy one, you can buy one, but that'll be £26.50. But if you want to buy all three, £50 now. They're 100% cotton, machine washable, and they're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful K fabrics, like the oranges. Aren't they just exquisite? And these circles, I love these circles. They're so, look at this one with the black background. I love them. So, they're all fat quarters. You get 15 fat quarters. For £50. Now, what I was saying to them all this morning as well is, uh, first of all, it's free p and isn't it? Because it's over £20. And also, if they join Club Inspire, or they're, they've joined but they haven't bought anything, they'll get their introductory discount as well, won't they? It's just such a brilliant buy. It's such a fantastic buy. Anyway, how is it all up there? Oh, it's, it's quite weird, isn't it? The whole thing is a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, can I tell you, I've had over a thousand, a thousand... Scrubs bags. Now, the scrub caps and headbands are coming in as well. I did a Facebook Live on Sunday, and there's something going on with Facebook Live at the moment. For me, I don't know if it's everybody else. I can't do it for my iPads. I have to do it for my phone, and it kept cutting off and doing all sorts of things. Anyway, thousands of people still watched, and loads of people have got the pattern and everything. So, it's all going swimmingly well, and I'm loving being busy. I do miss being up there in my new family, my new crafters companion family. I miss them all up there. Anyway, I won't waffle on because I know you've got lots and lots and lots to do on your show. But remember, 15, 15 fat quarters, K okay, fat quarters for £50. I know. Normally, £26.50 for three. You get 15 for £50. I think it's a brilliant. Thank you, Sunny. I mean, I'm keeping this one. This one's not coming back. Sarah, I hope it's not too much longer before I'm up there again with you. Lots and lots of love to you all. Take care. Stay safe. Mwah. Mwah! Big kisses back, John. Oh, we really miss John. Do you know, he doesn't have Brighton up this place when he would come booming in on a Tuesday morning with his big bright shirt and get everybody whipped up into a frenzy. How amazing is that, that he's had over a thousand scrubs back in? I've just been going through all the ones we've had in the office as well. And we've had tons and tons delivered into the office. So honestly, guys, to say it's only two weeks since I, since I showed everybody here on here how to do it and John and Dulcie launched the campaign, it, we've had an overwhelmingly phenomenal response. So we're absolutely thrilled about that. But those fabrics, Joe's got them over. In fact, Joe, can you show everybody? I, I know John showed us them in his own little way, but Joe's got them nicely, nicely laid out, haven't you, Joe? I, I have. I've been working on the name as well. Kefase, apparently, is what it's called. Uh, you know, I've been practicing, John. I hope I've done you proud. I bet, yes, these are absolutely gorgeous, as John said. You've got five individual packs here. I absolutely adore uh, the oranges. They are fantastic. The great thing is, because they are packed together, it means they're all going to work together for you. So that's pack one. Uh, you've also then got... Uh, uh, set two. Now, I love the fact that you've got the oranges again, but on the red background rather than on the blue. And again, it's all going to work beautifully. Uh, you've got some plainer ones in there for you as well. So you get that second pack as well. And this one's lovely. It's like a little tropical burst of summer. And um, we've got little, I don't know, are they blueberries? I want to say they're blueberries. I'm not sure they are. Oh, they're blue oranges. I am yet to see any blue oranges, but you know, uh, we live in a wonderful world. Uh, you can see here, you've got all of those fantastic bursts of color there again. Now it's not a choice. You're not choosing set one, two or three uh, for that price. 50 pounds gets you all of them, which is amazing, or $82. Um, but uh, shut the front door, put the bins out and twiddle the blinds. Half the stock has now sold out and gone. So if you want those, they are not, I don't think, going to last the entirety of this show. Now, lots of you stocking up on fabric as well. I've got more fabric just here from the big brand of Riley Blake. Let me bring these in. Now, these are just beautiful. I love this cactus print, firstly. Let me just show you. 
what you're getting. So you're getting a half meter. Some people might refer to this when you see projects as a half yard. The amount of half yard projects that you'll find online, absolutely loads. Great for things like bags, uh, wraps, wonderful for cushions as well. Loads you can do with these. I think these lend themselves beautifully to home decor as well because of that really modern cactus print that you've got on there. Let me just bring it in so you can see that print. Now you're getting it in the yellow, a lovely burst of yellow. You're also getting it in the blue. I don't the yellow and the blue work beautifully together. And you've got the gray. I'd love to see those three used together on something like a children's playmat. I think they would look fantastic. You've then got uh, the next three again. So they're all sort of color grouped together. So you've got the same print here, a little bit more abstract this one. And then you've got three of these. You've got the beautiful peach, that wonderful almost sort of duck egg tealy blue, and that beautiful sort of off-white cream there as well. We've got some florals in here for you, some ditzy florals. Now look how the floral, see how the peach floral matches in with the peach geometric and the blue floral matches in beautifully with the blue cactus this is what I mean about them being color matched to work together in their families and then what we've got are some more gorgeous florals here a little bit more statement on these florals so you can see here you've got this really lovely rose and again you've got that in the blue the peach and the off-white and then finally something to break it up with that lovely tealy duck egg blue in that sort of um, um, almost geometric but it's a, a geometric border almost however five percent of the stock of these is gone you're getting 12 half meters uh, for 40 pounds that's great that's great value for money isn't it uh, I'm trying to work out how much that is per half meter and uh, I am failing it's ridiculous I want to it say it's I want to say it's uh, is it I don't know I'll work it out afterwards I'll get a calculator £3.33, which is what I said it was going to be. And in my head, do you know what I said? I said it's £3.33 in my head. I said no to myself. Simmer down, Joe. That's ridiculous. You can't get a half metre of Riley Blake for £3.33. You've lost your mind. But no, it is £3.33. That's going to be really, really busy on that. Uh, right, um, Sarah, can you give us a sort? Can you whet our appetite as to what you're going to be creating for us in the I show? I can. Well, do you know what? I've, I took some of that Riley Blake fabric home last night and we've got an amazing trio of Gemini bag making dies. So we've got three different bag making dies in the set. Don't walk you through all of them, but I'm going to make the crossover bag, right? So can you see this? This one's not. This is not the crossover bag. This is the. Uh, I can't remember what this one's called. But is that the bowling bag? The but thank you, Joy's on this. So that's the bowling bag. I've decided to do the crossover one because I quite fancied one of the crossover ones, and I absolutely loved those Riley Blake fabrics. So I've used that gorgeous big uh, fabric, the gorgeous big print fabric. Now, Builder Block. A couple of weeks ago, we did a, we did the Builder Block alphabet. I did a demo with it. And we had loads of people asking about the regular Builder Block and how to use the regular Builder Block system. So it's not over 35% off. I'm going to give you, so you can forget about that, you're going to buy the Builder Block, you're going to get the alphabet set absolutely free. You buy it, one. You get the alphabet set free. It's <laughs> awesome, right? So that's coming up. And then a little bit later after that, we've got So Inspired on. But the reason I've done you So Inspired is there's a project in there. Uh, it's one of the free gifts that comes with the magazine and you're going to be able to do, um, you're going to be able to make your own oil cloth. So I'm going to teach you how to make your own oil cloth and then we're going to make up a pro project from in the magazine. And I've done you a bundle with the magazine and the fabric in for better than half price. Then we're going to be touching on the patchwork dies. It's a buy one get two free you on buy the one you get two free jaw <laughs> on the patchwork guys and actually lizzie's going to be joining us uh, for via video to be able to walk you through those amazing patchwork dice so we really have got a huge jam-packed show okay now first of all i'm going to get ready i'm going to put my goodie bag by the way almost 10 percent now of that goodie bag has gone that is going to be an absolute stellar bag anyone who's buying anything in the show today i want you to add one of the goodie bags even if it's just for those two one meters of fabric and also to get your your four leather balls and your cotton fabric but oh go on don't you fall out there uh, even if it's just to get those it's worth it for the fabric alone then you're get, getting dvds quilting patterns dies you're going to get your twine you're going to get your fabric stamping 
well over 10% of the stock of that has now gone. We only have what we have. Same with them fabrics that John Pretty previewed them this morning at eight o'clock and over half of the stock of those fabrics have gone. And that's people who fully checked out their baskets. So if you're sitting with it in your basket, wanting to watch the demonstration, seeing if there's something else you need to buy, I'll just tell you now, you need to check that out and then come back and watch the rest of the show if you want the bag or I'm calling them John's fabrics right the care for safe fabrics if you want john's sunrise special you have to be quick to get that right i'm going to get my stuff out for the first time i'm going to be using those amazing riley blake fabrics which i can't believe that deal that we've got on today i'm going to be using that do my crossover dye you just give them a little bit of a heads up joe on everything absolutely uh really really busy already for everything uh we've shown you uh, the sunrise special of john 60 percent now gone 10 percent oh. Uh, Ten percent of the Riley Blakes have now gone as well, so everything is moving very, very quickly. Uh, can I give you all? Should we do a few hellos first? Uh, let's not be rude. Uh, so we've got um, Celine, who is from Corpus Christi in Texas. Now, Corpus Christi is the name of a, one of the Cambridge colleges. I didn't know it was also a place in Texas. There you go. You can have that one. There's a little factoid for you uh, this morning. Now, that is a real fact, not like my Bermudan sea pigs that live in the Bahamas. Uh, Marianne is saying hi from Kentucky. Crystal saying morning from Pennsylvania. Uh, Fran is also in Pennsylvania, maybe your neighbours. Um, Sandy is in Michigan saying hi. Uh, good morning from North East Essex. That's very specific there, uh, Anne. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day here. I'm guessing that's like um, Colchester. Could be wrong. Uh, Carol Ann is saying hi from Stourbridge. And uh, Cindy saying morning from Ohio. Ohio in Ohio, Cindy. Uh, loads on this show for you. Let's, uh, John, Johnny just got that one about that Ohio thing. Yeah, took, took a minute, took a minute. Uh, <laughs> I want to share with you the bag making dies. I just had to double check this as well. So the bag making dies, one of these should be thirty-one ninety-nine. Look down there, $39.99 gets you all free. So this one is the carpet bag uh, just here that you can see. It's a really gorgeous bag, as you see on the back there. Now, this one just here is the, this is the crossover bag. So this is the one that Sarah is going to be making today in the show. And that's the image there on the back of it. And the other one you get, I believe it's the bowling bag is the other one that you get. $31.99 each means that they should be all together in the UK, $95. Uh, 95.97 is what they should take you back. However, 39, uh, sorry, 89.97 today, 39.95. You're saving 55%, which is quite remarkable. Uh, so do make sure you get those in your basket and stock up on those. Don't forget about the Kefasse uh, fabric uh, of John's. Uh, that is really super busy. Remember, uh, 50 pounds is going to get you all. 20 or 15 of the fat quarters that you can see here and they really are uh, beautiful beautiful fabrics oh you know uh, oh people falling over themselves to get this deal uh, <laughs> that's people trying to get to the checkout you can hear <laughs> um three quarters of the stock of these have gone I, I mean i think we'll be coming back to you to tell you that they've sold out in pretty much no time at all the riley blake fabric's very busy don't forget about the building block we've got multimedia dies for you on the show they're so inspired we've got fusible foam and fusible fleece and all sorts of wonderful things um get across to the website and shop ahead also need to give you a heads up there will be a craft fault at the end of this show with some really gorgeous bits in it so it's a buy one get one free craft fault uh you buy one you get one free uh, that's coming up at the end of the show go ac get across to the website now and shop ahead crafterscompanion.whereveryouare.co.uk.com or .eu uh, and you'll see all the products from this show are there within this show you'll also find all the craft vault items and they'll be tagged with the craft vault logo so you'll know uh, exactly uh, which ones they are have you got someone that you know that's a sewist uh, is maybe getting into sewing wants to get into sewing you can very easily share this Facebook live if you want to uh, either with all your friends or with a couple of your friends get a little watch party going and watch it together so feel free uh, to give it a share and give us a like as well uh, and if you want to join the conversation make sure you're doing that with me over on the crafters tv uh, facebook live feed so i will see you over there uh, whilst i do that i'm going to hand you over to sarah because i know she's good to go with the first demonstration yeah, I'm actually sitting reading all the comments, Joe, while you're chit-chatting. Uh, Bernadette says you're on fire today. But um, boom, absolutely. He's on fire every day, Bernadette. This is what I have every day, right? Okay, so 
Now, can I just say, this crossover bag, I've never made this one before. I've done quite, I've done a few different bags, uh, but I've never made the crossover one. And I quite fancied, if you have a look, quite fancied having a go at this one because it's a good size bag. Now, on the website, this is the die, right? On the website, we've got full instructions. So all I did was printed them out and I literally followed through the instructions. Now I haven't made all of it because I'm um, obviously I'm going to finish making it here. I've got I've got bits of it ready to show you, but I wanted to walk you through it. And with all of these bags, we have a video for everyone on YouTube. So if you're more of a visual learner, which I am, I always like to go back and reference the videos. So it's nice to have the written instructions. But if you want to go on and um, watch the video, you want to do it along at the same time. I'm going to try and show you most of it. But if you want to watch the whole thing all the way through make sure you go and do that now when it comes to the cutting out okay let me show you how all of these dies work in exactly the same way you're going to bring your gemini plates in right so those of you that don't have a gemini well you need to have a gemini i, I i'd love to know if there's anybody watching that doesn't have a gemini right now i'm going to use that absolutely gorgeous riley blake fabric so i totally love this one right this is my so this is what i'm going to use for the outside of the bag so all you're going to do is you're going to fold it in half and actually the gemini can cut through both pieces so i'm going to put both of those fold lines today now this one's called the floral late navy just so that you know um but actually you're getting them all and you're getting a really decent size of each one okay now what you're going to do is you're going to then place this over top and it must go cut just right at the edges here now a great tip that lizzie shared with me is um what you want to be doing is sticking down to the uh to the metal sheet and to the fabric stick the die down so that it doesn't move as it's going through the machine so can you say i always stick it kind of half on the die but then on the outer bit that's going to be cut out and then all you do is you're going to put your top plate on you're going to put your clear plate on, you're going to cut it through. Now, when I do mine at home, what I do is I just do all the fabric cutting first. So I get the Gemini out, do all the fabric cutting and cut all of the wadding and everything like that. Then you can put the Gemini away and stitch everything through. So I've got a lot of my bits cut out, but I wanted to show you exactly how you're going to do that. Oh, that crack on the edge, by the way, it's just where you get this last little bit come through you can avoid that clunk if you are smart not like me right and when you put the die in instead of putting it on straight put it on a slight angle like this okay so if i just pop those to the side bring in here are my fabric pieces right and what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same with the wadding so you're going to cut out the fabric pieces and you're also going to cut out the wadding now we've got some wadding on the shorter day joe at a uh, at half price i didn't have any of that wadding at home last night so i've just got some of my um regular fleece here we've actually got some fusible fleece on the show so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to actually stick each of these pieces to the um can you see to the fuse i'm gonna to have to stick them to all of my all of my pieces whereas you've got the fusible so it's going to be have, loads I've better some, uh, fusible fleece just just here so that one's great you won't have to stick that one in i've also got some sewing foam stabilizer and also some foam on a roll as well now they're all half price so get across to the website and grab yours uh we've got all your fusible fleecy needs covered today we've got we've got all of your uh oh well, you're nice big in the corner there joe we've got all of your sewing needs covered today pretty much right so i've got my two side panels ready what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this i'm going to show you how to do the zip okay now i've used our zips on a roll so we've got all the zips on a roll on the shore can i just show you a little cheat thing that i do right i really struggle with zips and i really struggle with sewing them in so what i do is I put these, these edge pieces on it. So it's a little trick that, um, let's have a look. I did have a little piece here, yes. It's a little trick that Stefan our office showed me, right? All you do is you have a little square of fabric, right? You just fold and iron in the edges and then you just fold these two edges over, right? And then give that whole thing a nice little press, right? So you've got nice neat edges. Then you put the end of your zip on and you just fold that over the end of your zip. And you see, so it just goes over the end of your zip like this and you just tack along. 
And I find these are so much easier to stitch into your bag projects, okay? So I've just done that on both ends of my zip ready. And then what I've got is, I've got a little piece of the fabric. It tells you how big to cut this. So bear in mind, you're going to be working through the instructions Tells you all of the die cut pieces to do, tells you all of the sizes, gives you that little tr uh, trick that I've just talked about with the zip ends. It tells you how big to cut all of these two, right? So what you're going to do, I'm going to do step two now. So I've got my zip and you're going to put the two right ends together and then I'm going to get a little bit of my lining and I'm using that gorgeous, gorgeous um, ditzy floral for the lining. I'm going to pop all of those together, just got a couple of little clips and I'm just going to pin this together and then I'm just going to change my, I've got my, my uh, Stitch Pro out and I'm just going to uh, stitch this little zip along. Uh, wonderful. I need to let you know just how busy uh, that mystery bag is. A lot of love for the mystery bag as well. Lynn saying uh, the mystery bags are always such great value. Uh, who has said that? As Caroline's already got the uh, bag. Um, Alison saying she loves all of our mystery bags. However, a, uh, we're only 26 minutes into this show. A fifth of the stock of the mystery bag. A fifth has now? One fifth of the stock uh, has completed. We're on our way to a quarter of that stock having sold out already. So it's a very, very busy start uh, to this show. Johnny, how are we getting on with the cafe uh, fat quarters. <laughs> the cafe uh, 80% of that fat quarter eight bundle. Zero. Eight zero. Eighty <laughs> percent of the fat quarter bundle completely sold out and gone. If you want that, you're gonna to need to be quick for them. I know it's very, very busy also uh, for the Riley Blake fabrics too. Don't forget any pictures that oh, you've got that you might want to send in to us. You can do that. Uh, Sorry, John, are you talking talk to yourself? Yeah, in yeah, there? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, and, you know, better than, better than talking to, uh, at least I get some sense out of myself. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> uh, I was talking to myself about whether or not, because I changed this, put the zipper foot on, and I was just trying to work out whether or not I'd unthreaded my needle at the same time, which is a rare, which is a good, uh, something I do a lot at the moment. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, if you want to send any pictures in, uh, or tell us about all your tales of you talking to yourself, I'm sure you're not the only person, Sarah, uh, then you can email us studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Pam Craven, who is one of our lovely ladies that started to crochet when we first bought the crochet kit, she's finished the bunny, she just let me know in the comments. So I'd ah, love to see uh, a picture of Pam's first uh, crochet creation. That'd be lovely. <laughs> Right, Joe, I'm not, because I've knocked, I, I knocked my one off, but I'm just going to show you it, right? I knew as I was stitching down. Can you see, can you see I started a bit, so I'm going to have to unpick this and stitch it together. But the good news is, I have one of these I prepared earlier. But can you see how that is going to, we're going to have that design at one side of the zip, and then you're going to do exactly the same with your other side of the zip. Now, in the interest of moving the project along, because uh, I knew that we would never get this whole thing done, right? Look at what I got done last night, right? I stitched the zip in and stitched down the two, so I've top stitched down the side of the zip. And then can you see what we've done? Just with my fleece, I've taken this part here, and you can see, and it's going to go onto the edge here, and you just literally, well, it's going to go this way up, and you just literally stitch it along. So the, and because it's got that curve, this is what gives you the curvature on the bag when it's ready. So we can see we've taken the, the top one, you've got your wadding, you're going to have the fusible wadding, which is going to be loads better, and it just you just line the ends up and stitch all the way along there, right? So you're going to do that on both sides. That is starting to make the right out the correct outside of the bag. Now, for the, um, the gusset that goes all the way around the bottom, you can either... Let's have a look. I haven't done the lining. We'll come back to the lining. Here we go. Right, so with the gusset, talk to you how to use the, the uh, zip and gusset dies. You can either fold your fabric over these pieces here according to the instructions or it gives you the size of the piece. Do you know what I've done, Joe? Just in case I went wrong, exactly like I've just done with the zip, right? I've made it a bit longer than I need it to be. All right, so I've just, and I've got my, uh, I've got that fleece again. And I've just stuck the fleece to the back. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start here. All right. So I'm going to just pin this in place so that you can see exactly what we're doing. I'm going to pop this one on. I'm going to sew all the way down to here. And then right just at the end, I'm going to stop, turn it along and come along the side. So we don't have to sew any curves in this one. I'm not going to lie. That's why I picked it. <laughs> so I thought I'd pick something nice and easy, seeing as we were doing it live. Uh, let's have a look. I'll, I'll get started here and you can have a look at what I'm doing. So I'm just going to take off the zipper foot, 
put my regular foot back on all right just make sure you've got those two right sides together i'm going to move this down so can you see we're coming in here getting this all just in place here there we go and i'm going to put my needle in and i'm going to start off just with a little back stitch to the end and i'm just sewing it um edge of foot right so i'm just going towards the edge of that foot there taking my time i'm going to go all the way down this first panel so just nice and straight making sure where i have got it straight not like uh, where i went wrong with my uh, with my zip jaw but we are live on tv you know it's not like it's really weird doing it here in the studio versus doing it at home and you can take your time i've learned my lesson in terms of not sewing while the kids are still up I've learned to do it when the kids go to bed because otherwise I uh, I have two little helpers and it is always <laughs> an unmitigated disaster. I love them kids to bits. Don't love them anywhere near my sewing machine. I've, I've learned. Our Oliver is uh, is learning a little bit, but uh, Charlie doesn't understand why he can't join in with his big brother. <laughs> so can you see, I've just folded that over to the edge, going to hold that in place and then we're going to come and sew down the next one. So can you see... So we're going to do all the way, Joe. I'm very conscious that this is going to get a little bit, a uh, little bit samey as you're watching me go down here. But if I pop that foot back down, and we're just going to stitch to the next bit, I'll move this down so that I can keep it all nice and order. And I'm just going to go all the way around the whole back there, Joe. Right. So I'll just keep going. Uh, now, I want to come back and just quickly give you a reminder again of the uh, Kefase, uh fabrics that we've got on the show today. Uh, lots in here for you. Remember, uh, you're going to get 15 fat quarters made up in three different packs. So you've got absolutely uh, loads within here. Um, so you can see you've got uh, five there, another five here, and then finally another. I love these ones with the oranges on them. They are absolutely fabulous. The one with the oranges. Uh, I love the orange on the red and the orange on the blue you don't have to worry about what you're getting because you're getting all of them however uh, it's limited stock uh, less than 10 percent of our original stock is now remaining uh, that means they're going to sell out if they're in your basket at the moment if you want to guarantee that you're going to be able to get them then you need to check that basket out now or you're going to um or you're going to miss out as well now let me just go grab something for you i want to just grab Hey, there we are. Uh, the mystery bag. Now, one of our lovely viewers, I can't remember who it was. Uh, hold the line. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Ah, Cindy. That's who it was. Uh, Cindy was asking about how much um, faux leather is on the bolt. Uh, and I have got a size on here for it. It's half a metre is what you've got. So, I mean, it's quite a lot. Let me take it off and show it to you. Now, this is what you're going to get. I'm never going to get this back on again, Cindy, am I? So, I'm not going to take it all the way off. But you'll see it's a really nice uh, big piece. If I take it all the way off, I'm never going to get back on again. Uh, a quarter of the stock of the mystery bag has gone. Now, obviously, uh, contents may vary slightly, but you will get one of everything I'm showing you. So, yes, you will get the beautiful faux leather. You need to feel this, guys, because it is absolutely buttery soft uh, there's no way that i would know that that was a, a faux leather the quality on that is except check me out look getting stuff back in the packaging and everything and this never happens uh now so you're going to get that you're also going to get uh the cotton fabric as well this is a soft lilac that i've got here all of our fabrics are gorgeous uh, you've then got some meters as well now it's not often we bring you meters of fabric but a meter is great because it means if you want to do things like dressmaking you want to make some lounge pants for the husband uh you know you want to do something like that you can but I always want to disappear uh, but, <laughs> but the great thing is if you are a quilter or you're someone that prefers um, you know to use fat quarters or you want to do half yard projects cut it down nothing to stop you cutting it down whatsoever and you can do that yourself which is fantastic now I'll come back to that in a minute because you don't want to see me fold fabric it's like watching paint dry uh, you're going to get another one of our glorious meters as well this is a beautiful sort of festive one that we've got just here um, we've then got in here for you some stencils so you get a couple of stencils included i know 
30 pounds or 35 dollars for all of this are you going to get some education included as well this one is one of our a dvd with our lovely lizzie uh, that's normally 14.99 its own just for the dvd uh, you've got a couple of baker's twines in there um oh there's an uh, let me put those back in there you've got an ink pad included fabric ink pad some of our wonderful uh multimedia dies and these are great for fabrics but a whole host of other materials as well and that's what you're going to get all of that lovely stuff included for 30 pounds or 35 dollars however as i just said over a quarter of the stock now of that has sold out and gone so if you want it you will need to be quick for it so how are you getting on over there sarah Okay, I'm nearly down the last leg of the, so I sewed, obviously I've connected the three sides and then the excess by the way that I had left, I had this little bit left so I just trimmed the edge, I find it's much easier, take it from one uh, relatively beginner sewist to another potentially, it's much easier if you just cut your fabric a little bit too long at the bottom right, I'm just going to take off the edge there and here we go, right so let me show you where I've got up to. I've gone all the way around with one side, connected it to the other. So we've essentially got, make sure by the way, you do open your, um, can you see you're going to open the zip. So you want to make sure you open the zip. And there is our bag. So you see you've got the, the gusset on the side. I'm going to let you see from the overhead, it might be easier, right? So you can see we've got the gusset on the side. What you're going to do is we're going to put that to one side and we're going to do exactly the same with the, um, with the lining, right? So here we go, lining fabric, all my life, the right, I, I wasn't listening to you Joe, no offence, I'm, I'm, I'm having to concentrate today, uh, I've already cut my lining fabric pieces out, uh, how's the Riley Blake fabric doing, please Ooh. tell me it hasn't gone. We've still got some, however, uh, a fifth of the stock has sold out and gone, so do be quick for it, just to say as well, Fabulous. the amount of faux leather that's in the mystery bag is enough to do the bag that Leanne did on yes, her Facebook is. Live on Sunday that night. So who watched? I watched Leanne's Facebook Live. What a gorgeous bag that was. Fabulous bag. Uh, oh, do you know what would look amazing? The faux leather in the mystery bag with oh, the Riley Blake on the mm. outside. Oh, it would look amazing. Because Leanne did a nice bright fabric and everyone was saying how gorgeous the fabrics were. Uh, Riley Blake fabrics. Cream of the crop, yeah, twenty percent right? gone though. So be quick for it. Get it, get that, and get so the, the bag. Sorry, the finger guys. came out then. Sorry about that. Yes, right. So you're going to do exactly the same. We're going to go right sides together, just exactly as you said. I did it with the difficult one, so that the so that essentially this was easy. You're going to stitch all the way down there, then you're going to just fold that over. Let me do it on the top so you can see. Fold that over with the um with the foot in, and then stitch all the way down the next side. Do that on both sides exactly like what we've just done and you'll end up with the bag made out of your lining fabric. Make sure you leave a hole in the bottom because we're going to have to turn everything through, okay? Now, this is the only bit you really need, well, it's not the only bit, this is the bit you really need to pay attention to. This is the bit where I had to pause and rewind the video three times to make sure I got it right, okay? This is why it's brilliant to have those videos. I've got my bag, got the zip open, you're going to take the fabric and you're going to put it the right way, okay? So we turn this the right way. So essentially what you have, golden rule of sewn, right sides together. I've got the right side inside, and I'm gonna pop this one inside that. So it might be, yeah, it's good for you to see on the overhead here, right? So that's gonna go inside, and then kind of ignore the zip, right? Because you need to make sure you sew the raw edges of the fabric together, right? Now before I do, I just realize I'm gonna, I'm gonna, because I'm not very good with handles, Joe. I'm going to tack my handle on. Do you want me to show you the handle, right? Now, handle-wise, I've just done a bit of an easy handle, right? You can go as adventurous as you want with a handle. I've gone, I've gone simple, right? So when I say simple, scrap of fabric, I've just ironed it, closed like this, right? And then that is going to go over like this, and you're just going to sew both sides. I did my handle last night. If you want to make it a little bit stronger, you can always put a bit of that wadding that we've got in, right? I didn't because I just, it essentially had like four layers of fabric in and I just top stitched down both sides. So I'm going to attach the, the handle on before I put this in, okay? Just like I said, because I'm not that confident, so I'm going to put the handle and I'm going to just connect it onto this part here, right? And I'm going to make sure that I put this it's going to go on that part there, but it's going to go in between these two bits, right? So along here, in between the two bits, so if I just pull this through, 
right? We're going to essentially tuck it along there. So I think, and actually, do you know what I might do is I might just sandwich the whole thing in the middle and give myself a nice little, nice little tuck stitch down the edge, Joe, so that I kind of, kind of, kind of go wrong at this next stage. A lot of people who are really good at sewing don't miss this bit out. Uh, I'm not, I'm not good enough to be able to miss this bit out. Okay, so I'm going to do <laughs> okay, that with my handle on both sides. Just a little, little tuck stitch. And when you're doing a tuck stitch, you're going to put it. Oh, look at that! Look at how many layers of fabric it's gone through. Right. I'm just going to take it right through the edge now. When you do it on the other side, right. Make sure you, you're keeping it straight all the way through. So I'm going to do exactly the same, pop it through this edge here, and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to connect it in there, hold all my pieces of this together, and I'm just going to stitch along that part as well. We were a bit raggy on the edges where I got it too, but that's most of my sewn projects, Joe, to be honest. If you want to go for the uh, foam on a roll to uh, strengthen your um, handles, uh, we definitely have that for you. It is half price. It is $7.49 today, so grab that. You've also got the uh, sewing foam stabiliser and the fusible fleece as well, all on half price today, so grab them uh, whilst they're on a great deal. I'm just putting the handle inside. Now, let's go back. Can't believe I almost missed my handle out, Joe. Uh, right, this is what I was trying to explain to you. So you have the right sides together with your handle inside now. And then we're going to take this and you're going to connect this. And it's, it's going to be a little bit easier if I just um, kind of pin this together to show you. We're going to put this part here, right? So we're going to get all of those edges nice and neat together. Then, make sure you write in, all of these rough edges is what needs to be sewn together. Can you see? So if I just let's have a look, I've got another, here we go, I've got some pins here, right? So all of these rough edges, we're just going to, hang on, which way down am I? And were you saying that there's video tutorials for all of this available um, online, Sarah? Yep. And they're not me, right? <laughs> just, just to make that, right? I am not the expert sewer in our business. We have a whole team of expert sewers. I am you. I am the customer for this, right? The only reason I'm doing all these shows instead of our sewing professionals is because um, they are all on lockdown at home or whatever, right? So uh, Lizzie's, although Lizzie's been doing loads of her shows from home, as has Jen, we're gonna see from Jen and Lizzie a little bit later in the show, right? So can you see both of those, I'm connecting right into the corner here. And then I'm going to make sure I bring these rough edges along as well. My lining just feels a little bit on the big side there. So I'm just going to make sure I do a little bit of give as we're going in. And then I'm going to stitch it all together, Joe. And do you know what? I'm going to start. I'm going to just because just of that bit of give, I'm going to start on the back round about here. You do need to leave a little bit as well to um to turn this out so all i'm going to do is stitch all the way along i told you this was one of the easier bags to do that's why i picked it <laughs> and then i didn't have to sew around any corners <laughs> but um i just thought it'd be nice if we could get the whole project finished uh while while we were here yeah so yes so i'm just going to get a bit of so all we're doing is into here all right i'm going to start around about there sewing right close to the edge so i'm going pretty much edge of foot um maybe it's a little bit about a quarter of an inch i'm leaving and we're just going to go all the way around uh, how are we getting on i'm going to speak to producer johnny how are we doing on the kfsa uh, uh it is very very limited uh, if you want these uh, then you need to check them out in fact do you know what I don't think I'm going to show them to you again because they are hanging on by a thread. See what I did there? Uh, anyway, let's move those over here. The jokes get no better, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to just quickly share with you again the Riley Blake because they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, loads of you going for these. These are half metre pieces. Maybe you uh, refer to them as a half yard where you are. So you're going to get the cactuses in that. I love this, like mustard yellow. Mustard yellow, blue and grey, these are all really fashionable colours at the moment. So you're going to get them there. You're then going to get uh, this beautiful geometric in the off-white, the, the sort of um, peachy coral and the almost sort of duck eggy blue. Duck egg blue? How would you describe that blue? Teal. Teal, that's the one I was going for. Uh, then what we've got here is again that beautiful statement floral. And again, you've got it in the off-white, you've got it in the peach 
and you've got it also uh, in that wonderful sort of uh, French navy there as well. You've got the ditzy floral and you're going to get that in the beautiful French navy with the yellow and the wonderful uh, corally peach with the off-white. And then finally, you've got a sort of geometric border almost in that wonderful tealy blue. 12 half metres for you uh, for £40. Now that is quite unbelievable value. Let me just open this up so you can see how big this is. Loads of great half yard, half metre projects uh, out there for you as well. Almost matches my trousers, doesn't it? Um, you can see there, great value. I know a lot of the stock here already gone. Um, I believe it was over a quarter. Um, over a quarter of the stock there uh, has it sold out and gone. Uh, mystery bag, let's go back to that. So exceptionally busy, one third of the stock of our mystery bag has gone. Now what you're gonna get here, of course, is you're gonna get a meter of fabric, which is amazing. Let me just open this up to show you how big this is. Uh, there we are. Uh, and a meter's great because it's great because if you're someone that likes to work with fat quarters, cut it down, you get four. If you prefer to work with fat eight, so you're doing smaller projects, cut it down, you'll get eight, which is brilliant. Or you can turn it into a half meter. Or maybe if you are doing something like dressmaking, you can just leave it as it is. But what it does is having the meter pieces gives you absolutely loads of options here. Uh, we, I'm not going to fold that. You don't want to see me do that. Uh, so you've got the uh, fabric. Uh, you've also got another meter of fabric as well. It's a bit of a lucky dip, but all of our fabrics are beautiful. They are, they're all um, quilting quality uh, cotton fabric. So you're going to get something beautiful there. We're going to give you a bolt of fabric as well. Uh, this will be a, a one meter bolt. So that's three meters of fabric we're up to now. You're going to get a half meter bolt of our beautiful uh, faux leather. This is so buttery soft. I mean, we are well over 30 pounds worth of value just in the fabrics alone and we're then going to give you some quilting stencils as well so if you want to do a bit of freehand uh, there you go <laughs> i've got them so i can see them i think you need to see them more uh, you've got them so you can uh, do your uh, free motion uh, quilting uh, you've then got some uh, baker's twine included in here as well we have got oh some lovely multimedia dies for you now these are great for cutting fabric all your different fabrics and a whole host of other uh, mediums too we have got uh, some inspiration for you. you get one of our dvds this is um, English uh, paper piecing with the lovely Lizzie and you're going to get as well one of our uh, fabric ink pads all of that for 30 pounds or uh, $35 you're looking at over 120 pounds worth of value in the UK over 150 dollars worth of value if you're in the US which is why almost 40 percent four zero has sold out and gone just bear in mind as well we're only 47 minutes into this show so many more of you watch these shows back after the show uh, than during in fact tens of thousands of you watch these shows back uh, after they've aired so if you are watching us back after the hour i would after the two hours i would say definitely uh, pop along to the website and check what the stock situation is like. Now is a great time to order. Craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, depending on where you are. Uh, get your orders placed and then sit back and relax. That's what the lovely Shadai has done. She told me she's gone for the mystery bags and the Riley Blake fabrics as well. Don't forget the bag making die as well. So you're going to get three here. These should be $31.99 each in the UK. You're getting them uh, for $39.99 for three. Uh, it's, it's a fabulous value for money here. So you're going to get uh, the crossover bag, which is this one, which makes that lovely little over the little over the shoulder the number. Uh, you've also got as well the carpet bag, uh, which makes this lovely sort of a little bit more substantial one. And then you've got the bowling bag as well. Uh, how much of the stock's gone, Johnny? 20% of a big, big stock has already sold out and gone there. Sarah, how are you getting on with your sewing? Uh, good, I'm all the way around. I'm just going back, because you know I started in the middle, just, just to make sure. I'm just going to go back over, here we go. Back over that last little bit. You could see I was giving him the eyes from across the room. Because for those of you that don't realise, I'm at one end of our studio, Joe's right over the other end. I was giving him the wave as if to say, I win, man, I'm, I'm ready to come back. Right? <laughs> right, so I've gone all the way around. Now, it's not the neatest, right, but it really doesn't matter. And what you can do is on these corners is you can just trim off. Make sure you don't trim through your stitch bits, but you can just trim off all this excess fabric because this is where I'm going to stitch it in, right? So this is um, this is just kind of sorry. This is this is not. You won't see any of this on uh, Lizzie or Jen's videos, but uh, yeah, on, on a Sarah special, you'll see all sorts of bits of bodging. Do you guys use that word down south? Oh, I wonder, do you use it? Bodging. Yeah, budget and budget yeah, and scarpa. Bodge job. Bodge job. Are you ready to see <laughs> this come out? Right. 
let's hope this has worked, right? <laughs> You've got to remember, guys, I'm just going to give a disclaimer here. This is the first time I've done this bag, right? And I'm live on TV. So uh, just forgive me a bit. If I've, I think I've done all right. It's looking, it's not looking too bad, right? So I've left the hole here and I've left the, I left the zip open. So the whole thing is going to come through. I love this bit. This is why I like this. This is like bags. magic, this bit. <laughs> Do you know, it's like I never understood. With every craft, I think there's that secret bit that you have to like learn. So for example, when I learned jewellery making, I always wondered how they got the clasp attached on. Never understood it, right? And uh, and it was like magic when I finally learned that. Right, well, there's my handle. Well, that's... Oh, oh, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's, we, you can even have a close up there. Look at this. Are you ready? We're going to have a close up. Whoa, Whoa. look at that. Me handle. So, my handle's coming there quite nicely. And my zip. So, you can see how that's going to. That's, do you know what? For a beginner sewist, I think that's not too bad, that jaw. Them, I mean, they're not, they're not perfect. But they're not, that's not too bad, this. Do you know what? This is the crossover bag, by the way. So, uh, do you know what I can do? I can, I can do this. Oh, oh producer Johnny said, if you want to make this, you make it in 47 minutes. Yeah, I spent about two hours last night, though, Johnny, getting everything ready. So, uh, 45 minutes on air, but two hours of working. But that was including me going through watching the videos, everything like Did that. Did you have right? little helpers last night? Or were you no, a little helper free? No, I kids have gone to bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we started at seven o'clock, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch that closed. I can do that a little bit later. You can see that goes inside. Oh, my life. You know, I loved the fabric before. I'm loving it even more now. They, oh, I tell you what. No, let's get it. Let's get it perfect finished because we're going to send this to someone. We're going to send this to someone. Right, keep your comments coming. I'm so pleased with my bowling bag. If you want to win my first ever uh, bowling bag that I made, just leave a comment. And at the end of the show, uh, well, do you know what we'll do? We'll leave it open for all those people who are watching afterwards as well, right? Yes. Should we do that? Yeah. At the, so um, tomorrow, tomorrow at this time, in fact, let's announce it on our show in the morning, Joe. Okay, we've wonderful. got another show at 11 o'clock in the morning Ooh. and we're going to announce the winner of my uh, of my bowling bag. But you have to have been watching this show, don't you? We're not going to tell them on tomorrow's show that you could win it. Um, uh, Rochelle is talking about, I wasn't going to mention it, Sarah, but Rochelle's mentioned it in the uh, comments. So I wonder if you wanted to have a little chat about it. Say, so, Rochelle says, um, congratulations to Crafts Companion on attaining the Queen's Enterprise oh, Award. That, Cracking job, you. Sarah and the team. Do you know what? Yes, we, uh, it's been announced in the press this morning that we have won the Queen's Award for Enterprise for our international trade. Now more than half of our business is exported all over the world. So I don't know if you guys remember, but three and a half years ago, I got awarded an MBE from the Queen, which is why I have them fancy letters after my name. And you see that picture of me with the very handsome Prince William. Um, and that was basically for, for um, international trade, for us doing all of this export and basically, basically creating a lot of prosperity here in the UK and uh, and sowing the virtues of craft all around the world is how I like to think of it. Well, today we've just, well, we found out a few weeks ago, but today it's been announced in the press that uh, we've won the Queen's Award for Enterprise as a business. So it's, I like to think of it as like the equivalent of an MBE, but for the business. So I'm <laughs> very, very thrilled about that. So thank you. Um, yeah, uh, how good's my little bag? I know it doesn't look, look a little bit, but can you see, because you've got that, that bit of a curvature on it, all I want to say, the, the reason why I'm doing all of these shows, right? Well, it's because I was some people can't come up here and do the shows. But the other thing is, how many of you at home are like me and you are completely new to this and you just need all the gear to get started and then a little bit of inspiration? So every Tuesday morning, we're going to sit here together. We're going to make bags. We're going to do a bit of quilting next. I'm going to get you inspired to do a little bit of quilting. Whether you're a complete beginner or whether you're like me, you kind of I definitely am not intermediate I'm beginner plus right so I need everything to be easy the machine makes it 10 times I mean I, I have the um I have our regular Gemini stitch at home and I love it it's a fantastic starter machine the stitch pro is just off the chart I, I was reading a comment earlier someone said it's so quiet you can hardly hear it it's not that I'm not sewing here guys it is literally that quiet it is so easy to use for a beginner like me and um, but when you've got gorgeous fabrics and the Riley Blakes are gorgeous 
have a look on the website we're doing cut by meter on all of the fabrics we have on the website so if you want to get into your sewing projects we've got loads but the riley blake fabric bundle that we have on today's show is absolutely outstanding you could be making projects like this you've watched me do it almost from scratch i did all the difficult bits uh, live on air so that you could see how to do all those bits but i just think it's a cracking little project but you do want those dyes. Honestly, I, as someone, I hate like doing patterns and following patterns. What, a, what an absolute nightmare, right? Whereas being able to use the dye sets, have a little look at the set again. The deal on them is absolutely phenomenal, right? So basically it's better than half prices. Joe said it should be, in, and just know the prices in pounds, should be 31 99 just to get the crossover bag that I've just done. You are getting all three of those bag sets for 39.99, 51.99. Do you know if you bought one of, if you bought a Sarah Davies original bag, it would be thousands of pounds in the <laughs> shops. Uh, one lucky winner is going to be getting it. However, if you did go and try and buy, these would be what 40, 50 pound dollar bags easily. But I just think it's lo lovely to make something. My mum would love one of these. I might make my mum one when I get the kids off to bed tonight. Now I've now I'm surprised myself at actually how easy it is. Right, hope you have a go. Now. This is not the only die set we have on the show today. We've done a lot of focus on die cutting today so that those of you who've got a Gemini and have a sewing machine at home kind of want to progress onto it. Now with the patchwork dies, I thought let's bring in the experts to see a little bit more. So actually these patchwork dies, which are buy one, get two free. Let me just say that. Let me show you this there. Buy one, you buy get one. two free. So those of you who are into making quilts, I personally love the clamshell. I don't love the sewing around the corners, but I love the finish it gives you. So I would buy the clamshell. So if you just want the clamshell, you might as well get the elongated hexagon and also the dual shape for free, right? Then you can do all the good. Here's, let's have a look at Lizzie. Lizzie can walk you through exactly how these work. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, I just think it's lovely that we can all get together on a morning and do some stitching together. It's great. Today I'm here to show you about our patchwork dies. To be honest, I love all of our dies at Crafters Companion, especially for fabric. Uh, those are the rose gold colour. So if you see rose gold, you'll always see me or Bernie or Katie cutting our dies. Now today I've got these patchwork ones and we've got the jewel shape, the clamshell and the elongated hexagon. You can see I've got one missing on each because they're down here ready to cut. If we look at the back, you'll be able to see some fantastic inspiration of what these dies have done. They are superb and, and of course they're all different sizes so you've got four different sizes in each of those sets which is amazing isn't it what an incredible value for money so all i'm going to do is pop them through the gemini now so i've got my fabric all pre-cut so i'm going to use my clear plate my metal plate i'm placing my fabric down and then my die cutting face down and then i'm going to pop <laughs> my dies over the top of my fabric so I'll get them just lined up a little bit. Now what I do suggest you do is tape down because you don't want any of this to wriggle because you don't want to waste fabric. So if you're using some tape, washi tape, anything like that, put the tape on the actual die itself, on the edge of the die, and then the waste fabric. And the reason for that is if you then pull the tape off because it gets so sticky going through the machine it can distort your fabric and it can fray it um, and with faux leather it can take the lining off because the pressure of the machine is so great and the tape becomes super tape when we put it through the machine so i've got um, i think i've got six layers here of our country yard fabric which is adorable you can hear that crackling sound that means the dies are cutting. The machine is doing what it's meant to do. So if I take these off, and I'll just put them to one side, and then I'll put these, uh, the, this is the jewel one that's going through now. And again, don't forget to put a little bit of tape down, um, like I say, on the edge of the metal die itself and onto your scrap fabric. And of course, you could keep all of these scraps to stuff soft toys with and, you know, anything that you need to pad something out. So let's pop this one through. Just using my turntable again. So look, these are the ones that I've got. <laughs> Honestly, it's like a knife through butter. It never ceases to amaze me how clean a cut you get. So let's all pop these to one side. They're in there somewhere. There we go. Oh, got a sequin in there as well now. <laughs> 
that's from the sequin fabric the other day. How did that get in the machine? Right, so if we look on the overhead now, you can see if I put the hexagons down, these are the elongated hexagons, you can see how they all sort of nest together and how now you can stitch these together, obviously quarter inch seam allowance, or you could just lay them down like this and do a raw edge applique. Um, but the thing is, it's giving you tons of different options of how you want to stitch them down. And if you could use a fusible glue as well, if you wanted to. So that's the, um, the elongated hexagon. And obviously that's because because this is like the second biggest size it's going to um, take no time at all to put a quilt together and then we've got the jewel and the jewel is really now for making your flowers with uh, again this could be a plique they will all nest together as well so there's lots of different options and of course you can see in the center you've got a hexagon and I bet anything you like that one of our hexagon dies will fit into there beautifully so look that is the elongated oh sorry that's the jewel look at that isn't in the center but you could just applique that on the top of the quilt and the quilt um, top could come through the center there I think it's glorious and then the clamshell the clamshell I've left till last because this is my favorite um, and oftentimes I'll actually draw around the clamshell and actually do sort of like a running stitch like a sort of faux sashko and again you can EPP these so you can turn down the rounded edge and stitch them down that way or you can um, just applique them down like I would do um, to be honest it's it's always trying to make something or sometimes it's usually we need something quick isn't it so I'm trying to sort of space these out so you get an idea now I'm covering these over with a quarter of an inch seam allowance roughly so you can see how they look and you trim that off if you were going to put that on a quilt or a cushion cover but look at that look how they nest together they are absolutely perfect so that is our um, patchwork dies uh, from Crafts Companion. And I think, Sarah, you tricked. better show them uh, what you can do with them now. <laughs> You see, that's why you need the experts. So although she can't be here in our studio, she's so lucky. She's got this whole fantastic setup at home, our Lizzie. So she's uh, obviously she's coming to be part of my shows on a Tuesday, but then also she's doing these amazing stash busting make shows on a Friday. So we've got uh, Lizzie and Jen are going to be jumping in and out and doing our stash busting makes. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. Now, that is the set of three. Jaws actually got them over. You've got them over there, Jaws. Yeah, you? I do indeed. I've got them uh, right here. Now you get all three of them, as you were saying, for thirty nine uh, ninety nine. I do keep checking it, and I do keep making the same, coming to the same conclusion. One of them is thirty nine ninety nine. So any other day, if you came and bought the clamshell for us, we charge you thirty nine ninety nine. However, today you're also going to get uh, the elongated hexagon and also uh, jewel as well so you get all three of them uh, for that price which is fantastic value for money i need to give you a recap about the mystery bag very very busy um as we said almost half the stock has gone we're only halfway through our two hour um soft side of life show so very busy on this you're going to get two full meters of fabric in this bundle you're going to get a third full meter of fabric on a bolt you're going to get a half meter bolt of our uh, faux leather as well well over 30 oh well over catch. 30 pounds there uh, just in the fabrics alone however we're going to keep going you're going to get two of our stencils we're also going to give you a multimedia die we're going to give you another multimedia die as well you're going to get some inspiration so uh, this is uh, from our lovely Lizzie this is an English paper piecing uh, tutorial you could get any one of our tutorials two of the Baker's twine oh and you're going to get one of our uh, threaders ink pads as well so all of that that should come to the value in your mystery bag it is a bit of a contents may vary but you'll get one of every sort of type of product that i've shown you over 120 pounds is what this would cost to buy individually or over 150 dollars check out the price 30 pounds 35 dollars to get all of that it really is uh, fantastic value for money so let me just pack this away 
uh, over half of that uh, has sold out and gone. You don't get the bag though. Uh, now, Builder Block, so popular whenever we bring this to you because what you're going to get in the Builder Block in this one, you are getting the square die set. You're also getting uh, the uh, squares. So you're getting two type of squares and you're getting, sorry, let me try that again. You're getting the squares, the half square triangle, uh, the quarter square triangle, and the 16 page instructional booklet. The great thing is, let me bring, pick this up and show it to you. The great thing is that you can make all of the different size blocks that you'll need. So you can make a three, four, six, eight, nine, and 12 inch blocks and check out all the different possible block combinations that you've got. Now, 99.99, any other day uh, that you come to us here at Crafts Companion would just get you the builder block. However, we are going to give you today the alphabet worth 69.99. We're going to give this to you completely free of charge. And again, you can make the uh, 6, 8, 9, 10 and 12 inch blocks using this complete personalization. Don't think about just quilts. You know, quilts. The idea of a quilt might be a bit overwhelming for you. Start off with a cushion. Start with a smaller blanket. There's loads of things that you can do with it. 99.99, 139.95. Go and check out some of the reviews on our website for it as well. People absolutely uh, love and adore that. I've got loads of you still commenting uh, along here. Lots of people saying hi to Lizzie. Oh, Bernadette got in touch and said, any update on the apron situation? All I can say is, all I can say, not for herself, she's very selfless, Bernadette. She lives in the States, she already got hers from HSN. Her brother wants one, he lives in the UK. So she's really hoping that there, I don't think the deal's live on our website at the moment, but in the morning, if you want news about the aprons, join myself and Sarah at 11 a.m. for the masterclass. Actually, on the topic of the masterclass, what were you looking forward to in the morning, Sarah, with that? Oh, yes, tomorrow I am doing a metallic masterclass. So we're gonna start off with the metallic ink pads, learn when you would use ink pads and loads of techniques with ink pads. Then we're gonna get the pens out. So we're gonna learn about the different techniques you can do with the pens. Then I'm gonna get my metallic jars out and show you when you would use the jar of metallic ink over just the pen. So basically a whole metallic masterclass, which is going to involve getting very messy. So I'm gonna have my pinny on. Mmm. I've got one in the studio. I might pop it on for you as well, uh, just to, uh, to whet your appetite. Uh, loads uh, still to come. So, uh, Builder Block, uh, very, very busy on this. 99.99, 139.95. Uh, if you want to watch and shop at the same time, uh, a lot of you, it's so funny. So we see really big numbers on Facebook at the start of our um, shows. And then as more of you move over to the website to start to order, the numbers start to go up on YouTube. Because if you're on the website, uh, you're watching us uh, through YouTube. So I can see loads of you still commenting away uh, here. Oh, Bernadette says, thank you I will let him know uh, so we'll say hi to your brother in the morning uh, Nicole saying I really really want the apron uh, as well not long to wait guys uh, but for now I'm gonna hand you back to Sarah because we're gonna be talking all things build block yes now a couple of weeks ago you might remember I did the alphabet right so the alphabet set which you are getting free today and we're going to speak to Jen later on in the show she's going to do a demo with us with the alphabet set and um, that set is what I demoed a couple of weeks ago and loads of you said, I just want to understand about the builder block. So I'm going to walk you through it right from the beginning. Before I do, can we just admire this absolutely beautiful quilt? These are just a selection of the different blocks that you can do. Now, for those of you who maybe are new to quilting like I was, all quilts, not all quilts, that's not true. The majority of quilts are made up, right? from uh, squares, half square triangles, which is basically the square in half. So this one here, right? So can you see it's a big square, but it's in half. So that's a half square triangle or a quarter square triangle, which is when you've got half of that again. So for example, this block, this piece here, right? There's a half square triangle. And then here are two quarter square triangles. Every block you see on here is made up of squares, half square triangles, quarter square triangles, right? And, and the instruction booklet walks you through all of this. This is my favorite one. I've done a load of cushion covers with these. I think it's really super clever. I'm gonna show you how it all works though, right? Now, as Joe alluded to, you can do all of your blocks in three, four, six, eight, nine, and 12 inches, right? Now, when I lift the lid off this, you will see just how awesome it is, right? So, oh, come on up we come. 
I am, I'm not taking my time. There we go. Right. So you get the Gemini and can you see you've basically got three little drawers. So these drawers have got all of your dies in. Now you've got the squares, the half square triangles and the quarter square triangles. And when you lift one out, so for example, here's my quarter square triangle pack. You get the little map on the front that tells you all of the sizes. So this is my four and a half inch, six and a half inch, three and a half, one and a half, two and a half and two. That marries up with all of the actual dies underneath so it keeps your dies really well organized okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop these oh i'm going to pop this back on i'm going to pop this back in because the first place you should start right is the instruction booklet so i've got the booklet here let's just have a little look through right it's going to talk to you about um some little tips and then we get into all of the blocks. So can you see, if you're just starting out, you could start right at the beginning and work your way through all the ones in the booklet. So can you see, we've got the four patch, the nine, then we start getting a little bit more around. This is a shoe fly, right? Then we've got the friendship star. That's the one I'm gonna do for you today. Uh, your hourglass one, the pinwheel, the card trick, which is the one I said I really, really love because it looks like they all merge together. It's very, very clever, right? Uh, your hunter star, which is very, um, very, uh, I was going to say popular quilt, as is the tulip design. You see a lot of them. Uh, your Dutchman's puzzle, your sawtooth, and then we keep going through jewel box, basket, Anne and Andy, fox and geese. These are these are just normal quilts that are, a lot of people will know. Road to Kansas, thrifty block. You can see how we basically working up this double links one. I haven't tried this yet. It's quite advanced, right? Then we get onto it in the next thing. Can you can you let me just show you as well this here? Here are a load of extra quilts, not all the extra quilts. So you get 20, is that right? You get 20 in the book. There are another 52 on the website with the written step-by-step -step instructions, just like we've got here. So don't think it's just the 20 in the book. There's so much more. Now, I think, I wonder if you can get in a little bit closer on here, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and we're going to do, 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 do let's get our way to the friendship star, right? So we're going to do the friendship star and it tells you if you want to do the friendship star as a 12 inch block, a six inch block or a three inch block. So those are the three different sizes that you could do with this block. Not all blocks work. So, so for example, an hourglass, you could do it as a four inch block as well. Uh, for the pinwheel, you can do this for a 12, eight, six, four or three inch block. But I'm going to do the friendship star and just for you to be able to see it easily with bigger bits of fabric, I'm going to do the 12 inch one. So it tells me here, I need two different colors. So I need five four and a half inch square and eight uh, 4.5 inch half square triangles. So the key that I need here is four and a half inch square. So what I do is I pull out my squares from here and you can see that the biggest one's six and a half inch, the next one's four and a half. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna take out my four and a half inch, all right? And I'm gonna pop that, you don't have to leave the plastic on the top when you get it. I like to keep mine all nice. This one's mine from home, right? And then I also need the half square triangles. So I come back to here, half square triangles, not the quarter, you don't need any quarter squares for this one, just need the half square triangles. And the size I need is four and a half inch. So it's this one down in the bottom corner here. So I need the four and a half inch half square triangle. Now, you might think, as I did when I first started, that half square triangles and quarter square triangles were just the same. They are not. They are a completely different, you are not going to fit in there, are you not? Uh, they are a completely different shape of die. So trust me when I say uh, they are not to be confused and mixed up. So can you see, these are on in here. If I just take out those quarter squares, can you see if I put the two side by side, your half inch square triangle is like this. It's got the two doggy ears on the sides, right? Your quarter square triangles have got your doggy ears on the two big sides. So completely different, right? Different type of edging off and completely different sizes. So just trust me when I say we've got this all figured out. You don't have to worry about it, right? So there is my builder block pieces over there ready. Now, I can see here, I need the big square. I'm going to do mine in red and pink, right? So I've got some red and pink and I've just cut, I've just cut some, some bits so that it's easier for me to demonstrate for you, right? But I can see I need, um, oh, and I need a square, obviously, right? So you need a square for the middle. Uh, some squares for the outside and, and a square for the middle. So I need one square in the red, 
Yep. And I need one, two, three, four squares in the pink. So I'll go one, two, three, four. So there is my five squares, which is going to be this one, right? Then I need eight half inch square triangles and I need four in one colour, four in the other. So I just go one, two, three, four, and I can take four in the pink, one, two, three, four in the pink. Perfect. And I'm going to do these and I'm going to cut these with this one. Now, actually, can you see? you'll get, I wouldn't usually at home cut my fabric ready. It's just for speed. So I can get this out and then actually I could turn this around and I could get some out the other side. So you're not going to waste a lot of fabric doing this. So I'll just bring the plates back in, right? And I'm going to cut both of these at the same time. So I'm going to pop that on there and I'm going to slightly angle my die just so that we don't get that little clunk as it comes out of the machine. And it's just really to demonstrate to you uh, how you would do all the fabric die cutting. Now, accuracy, when it comes to quilting, is the single most important thing. And uh, I love the idea of patchwork. I'm just not big on the accuracy. So I never got into it because I could never be bothered to use the rotary cutter and the ruler. I don't mind cutting squares that way, but when once you got into half square triangles and quarter square triangles, they just, they weren't accurate. I tried it a couple of times. It was all off piste and I just gave up. It's not until we launched this builder block system that I properly, properly got into this, right? So here we go. I'm gonna pop these apart, right? And I'm going to show you how we then piece all of this together. Now, you might be a little bit too close in now, but we'll have a look. Right. I'm going to follow the instructions. So can you see, as we look at it, and you imagine, what did I say? We've got we, dark colours of the red, so and then me light colours of the pink for me. So if we just work along the top row first, we have a plain one. Then we have a half square this way. Yep. That joins to a half square this way, and that joins to another plain one, all right? So that is our top row. Then the middle row, we have a half square this way, and this is how you literally follow it from the instructions, half square this way. Then we have our red square in the middle, and then we have a, a red square coming down this way, like this, and a pink one going off that way. And it just, it just all follows through. And then the last one, we're going to have pink square at the bottom. Then we're going to have, let's have a look. Red one comes this way. Pink one comes that way. And then we have the other pink one here, right? So that is how we're going to make our star, right? Friendship star. So we're going to push all these up a little bit. And what you do is now we're going to start and stitch them together. Now, this is where this, this is really clever. Because this, if you look, doesn't all line up perfectly. It's because it's allowing you a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So we're going to stitch these two here together first. And when I put these over top of each other, you're basically starting from the point And that dog here is allowing you a quarter of an inch. So let's have a look and whiz that straight down, okay? So I'm going to go here, uh, just get my needle in. And I'm going to just stitch that straight down. And as long as you keep that quarter of an inch. So for me, on the stitch here, it is on my edge of foot. All right? And that will take me right through to the edge. And then what you can do is just open it out. Give it a nice finger press. Or if you're a little bit OCD-ish like me, which I am when I do me quilting. Right? Uh, I like to get it out. I've got my iron here. And I just give it a nice little press and press them seams down, all right? So there's my little my little mini makeshift iron board. So we've got that seams together. This is gonna to come, so this went back this way, didn't it? If we're not sure, you just bring this back in. Uh, nope, went that way like that, all right? So now I'm gonna join this one. Can you see now it's exactly the right size? So I'm gonna join this one to here, and we're just gonna run that one down. And this is how easy it is. Now, I've done this at home with uh, with the boys before. No, I haven't. I've done this at home with our Oliver, right? And Oliver did the cutting through the Gemini, and I did the uh, sewing them together. And we made a little cushion cover, and it was just lovely. And the sense of achievement that he had was fantastic, that, he, that we kind of done this together. So I'm going to press that flat again in a second. I'm going to pop this one on again here. And I just like, do them a row at a time. Take it from one who's just, just kind of started out here. It's very, very 
quilting's really therapeutic, but accuracy is the important thing. And uh, if you want someone to take all of that headache of accuracy away from you, the builder block is absolutely going to do that, right? So I'm just stitching right down there. And what a lot of what a lot of the professional stitchers I've seen them do, uh, they do it. They will go right up there. Uh, they do this and they stitch them, they chain them all off together. I'm not quite there yet, right? So if I bring this back in, I'm gonna get all these seams, you can see they want to fall one way, right? So I'm gonna get all these seams just pressed. Now, I wasn't just getting bags ready last night, I also got a little bit of my friendship star ready, right? So you'll be pleased to know, I this one here, I did exactly the same. So you're gonna stitch these two together, and you're gonna stitch these two together, then you're going to open them out and you're going to stitch them onto that center one and it will make this yep and then the same with the top one and it's going to make this and we're going to get that same on the top so once you have them in strips right so you do them along first then you have them in strips and we're going to sew our strips together so i'm just going to put these two together here uh, get this all lined up nicely on the corner and the whole um the whole block when you finish, it's going to be 12 inches. Now, I'll be really honest, I've never managed to make a 12 inch one yet, right? We've got 11 and three quarters, which for a beginner quilter, I don't think it's too bad, actually. So, uh, yeah, 11 and three quarters is quite quite a good achievement. Um, but this is the, the great thing is, it just shows you how easy and accurate it is. Hey, today might be midday, on me, uh, look, it won't be if I get don't get this one lined up. Uh, today might be me day on me 12 inch block, and 12 inches is lovely. And um, like I said, I've never actually made a whole quilt. I've had the intention of it, but I enjoy the um, I enjoy the patchworking side of it. So I I want kind of the instant gratification that goes with the patchworking, and then I can't be bothered to do all of the rest of the quilting side of it. So I generally, I've done three before, um, but then I never finished it into a table. I was going to make it into a table runner. I never did finish it. I'm not a complete finisher with my <laughs> sewing projects. That's why I get into the bag making quite a lot. Uh, I'm terrible at not getting stuff finished. But uh, look, I'm going to be going slightly off here. That's what happens, Joe, because I got a bit carried away talking, right? <laughs> uh, but <laughs> it's going to look, I'm sure it's going to look all right, okay? So you bring this out now. Bring that ironing board straight in. This is not bad going, you know, for a bit of patchworking. And if you watch the show that I did, um, that I did week before last, I think it was, I did do, so I used the Builder Block alphabet. So it's exactly the same principle as what we're using here. It's just you're piecing this, it tells you what to piece together with the squares of the alphabet. Look at that there, isn't that looking lovely? Yeah? And then if we had, if I had my little rotary trim at the hand, I would just sit and give that a nice trim now. But it just, I wanted you to see how right from the beginning, you can do a whole block. And in the same way that I've done that friendship star, loads of people who I know when we first brought Builder Block out, they started right with number one. So start with the four patch, then they did a nine patch, then they did a shoe fly, and it just builds you up. So look, friendship star is it's like level four. It's like it's like how Oliver on his video games gets up to level four. Uh, the card trick I absolutely love level five. But if you do that all my life, you could be getting that Riley Blake fabric. You're going to have enough fabric to make a whole quilt, and then all you're going to do is you're going to work your way through all of the blocks, and then you'll actually end up with something beautiful like this one we've got at the back. So you have all of your different uh, squares and this isn't even all of the squares in the set a little bit of trim around the outside and um, and it's like it's like teaching yourself to quilt as you go right so if you're if you're unsure if you're sitting on the fence right build a block 99 pound you are basically investing in a system that is going to give you the ability to do not only the 20 blocks in the instruction booklet but the additional 50 odd that we have online and most quilts are built up from those squares half squares quarter qu quarter square triangles you're going to be able to learn how to do all of those it's an investment granted it's an investment but given that you can then do them in three four six eight nine and twelve inches compared to other systems out there on the market it's a fraction a fraction of the price but today 
this is your starter pack this is what's going to get you going with quilting but you can advance on to look at this quilt that joe's got you can advance on to quilts like this because every one of those letters is just another it's just another square like the one i've just shown you but you're going to learn every letter of the alphabet exactly the same way you just get them out it tells you you need so many of this so many of that you do them in rows connect your rows together you put your letters together and you can be progressing onto a quilt it's like start a set and advance quilting all in one so really unbelievable unbelievable deal. and do not forget if you're going for the builder block get yourself that riley blake fabric and you could be making the most gorgeous quilt uh, yes, great deal on the Builder Block there for you. So $99.99 is what you'd normally pay to get your Builder Block. However, today you're going to get an extra $69.99 uh, in the way of uh, the, the alphabet and the numbers. So great for complete personalization. Get it together advantage of that inc uh, incredible deal. Ellen has just dropped in the comments, says she just bought the metallic ink pads on the HSN uh, shows recently. She's really excited for the masterclass tomorrow. Also, Marion saying, would we do some fabric that matches the fabric that's on the apron? Mm, I think that's a really lovely idea. People are maybe wanting to make things like matching bags and wraps to keep their scissors in uh, as well. So we'll look into that. And with Leanne tonight, uh, maybe I'll ask her. She's always a good one to ask, isn't she? Um, Okie doke. Now, the Riley Blake, uh, over half the stock of the Riley Blake has sold out and gone. So just to remind you, I know, it's quite unbelievable. We had a big... We, 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 go on, do you want to do it again? We missed it. Da, da, da. <laughs> we do all our own sound effects here. Uh, <laughs> so here uh, is the Riley Blake fabric. Now, it's beautiful. I love how modern this is. So you've got the wonderful cactus here in the mustard, the grey, and that French navy. Really trendy colours at the moment, these. I'll just open this up to show you how much you're getting as well. Because you're getting a half metre. If you're looking for projects for these, uh, half metres or half yard project, you're going to be able to complete with this. Loads of half yard projects out there. Things like uh, bags. So this will be great for your uh, bag making dies. Also wonderful as well for um, things like wraps, so like your scissors and those kind of things. Uh, it's also fantastic uh, for cushions, uh, smaller quilt blocks as well. Loads you can do with it. If you prefer to work in fat quarters, cut it in half, you've got a fat quarter. Now, you've also got this lovely uh, geometric design here as well. And again, you've got this in that tealy blue, that beautiful peachy colour and that wonderful off-white. I must tell you as well, it is buttery soft. It's fabulous quilting quality cotton that you've got here. Now, this one here, as well you're going to get this lovely sort of ditzy floral and you're getting that again in that lovely french navy with the mustard and the um sort of peachy coral the off-white so it all ties in together for you you've got this wonderful statement bold floral here as well again you're getting it in the french navy the off-white and that wonderful peachy coral and then one more that i haven't shared with you is this now this is great because this is the one that ties them all together because it's teal but if you look closely you've got the off-white You've got the French Navy, the mustard, and that peachy coral all within it. So you can use this with pretty much any one. It's such a beautifully well thought out collection. Uh, you're saving more than you're spending. It should be 95.88. However, it's 40 pounds today if you're in the UK, uh, or 27, 27 dollars if you're in the US. I mean, I, I think we've got. I think that we've got that. We must have got that wrong, surely. Uh, now, uh, up next, so inspired. Have I taken the ticket off? No. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know, I was too busy talking about the salad that I've made myself. I'm dead proud, dead chuffed for myself. I'm just, a, just dead chuffed that I've become a person that enjoys salad. I think you know you've grown up when you get to that point. Uh, anyway, so inspired. Uh, this is issue number 16 that we've got for you. So I'll just show you the uh, magazine first. It is the latest one. 34 amazing projects in here for you. So I think if you are uh, a little bit, maybe, maybe you're suffering, maybe you just need a bit of a, a mojo kicker, you need a bit of inspiration, uh, you want to use up some of your stash, loads of different projects in here uh, for you to sink your teeth into. Now, should we have a look at all the great hardware you'll get included as well? So you're going to get some stencils which is amazing. Let's get the rest of these goodies out here. You're also going to get, as all oh, this looks fabulous, Happy Camper. I'm going to be using be, that. That could be me, couldn't it? 
Uh, so you've got the uh, patterns in here for your Happy Camper picnic set. And then what you've also got is you've got a fat quarter in here and the stencils. All of that for £12.49. Oh, that's not all though, is it? Because what you also get is you get the bonus six fat quarter pack from Threaders. So you've got this one here. This is very like, I'm gonna bring that in a bit for you. It's very country kitchen, that one, isn't it? Oh, that's the one that Sarah's gonna be using. And then what we've got, this is worth 15.99 on its own, this. You've got that wonderful cerise, that gorgeous floral in there, uh, and then a plainer one, and then on the back, that one's, I could do all that, make a lovely tea towel, that one. Uh, 12.49 or 17.70 gets you all of that. Shall we also? Have we coat? Quickly. You buy one. You get one free. I said you. You buy one. You get one free. Absolutely. 29.98, 39.98. Uh, and Sarah is going to take us through all the great things uh, that you can do with this. Well, yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make something out of that Happy Camper picnic set. And I'm going to use the fabric that we've got. Now, the only problem is, if you're wanting, if you're wanting a nice picnic set for outdoors, wouldn't it have been much nicer if that lovely fabric, and I do think this is a beautiful fabric, was an oil cloth? Wouldn't it be nice if it, had, if it was waterproof, had an oil cloth finish? Well, that's what I'm going to teach you how to do, because that fabric coat is all about making your regular fabrics into like an oil cloth so watch how easy it is to do okay i've just got to uh, i've just spread my fabric out here can you see the actual stuff itself it's like a little bit a um, little bit gloopy and oozy right all you're going to do is take a bit of it pop it on here and literally spread it out and you see how easy this is joe so every fabric you've got you could be doing this with the fabrics that you've got in the um what do we call it in the in the goodie bag all those riley blake fabrics that we've had on you could be making those into oil cloth and you're just spreading it out now the more you put on the more waterproof it is but what i would say is don't make it too thick right so i'm kind of putting this on and just spreading it out you could i would say to make it really waterproof the one that i've got ready i put four coats on right so i'm only using a tiny amount i mean i have done you a buy one get one free though so that you've got no excuse for this um because you're going to have loads of it and i'm just it's brilliant for the happy campers picnic set because then you can have a little little try with everything right so can you see i've just done i've just done that first little section there and I wanted you to see just how it's just like spreading. It's just like buttering a piece of bread, to be honest. Right? Plenty of that on. Where I've got it, a little bit thicker. And I can see it's starting to dry already. Right? So you're going to give that, you would give that a mm, little while to dry. Yep, you'll know when it's dry. It doesn't have to be bone dry. Just, yeah, it's just like buttering. I said bread, but I think you're right, toast. Buttering toast, more accurate. So I've done that fairly decent sized piece there. You would leave that to dry. To give it another one, I done like I said, I've done four. So you want me to show you the one that I've got where I've done four pieces on, right? If I just how long do you have to leave it to dry before you put the next coat on, Sarah? It doesn't have to be born dry to put the next okay. coat on. So it depends. I mean, I would I would give that maybe half an hour or something. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Give it a, give it a bit of time to dry. Um, I did mine. I did do it with the kids running around this one, and uh, and I did it. I did it out in the back room. So let me just show you here. This is the one. So look, it's proper oil cloth. It's like proper oil cloth. How much is that oil cloth in the shops? But not only that, they only do it in fabrics that you don't really want. This way, you can get any fabric you want and turn it into an oil cloth. So all I've done is I've covered that over. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to get a little piece of greaseproof paper, right? You're going to bring in your ironing mat and just to fully seal all of it, you're going to put this on your ironing mat. Look at that, you'd think I'd planned it to be this size, wouldn't you? And you're going to pop your greaseproof paper over the top and just give it uh, a good iron, right? And it just kind of sets it all up, just trying to... You know what that looks like? You know you go to that, you know that retro shop on the high street that sells the little oil cloth purses and the little bags and the little the one wash bags? Um, yeah, the one that's not doing too well at the moment. Yeah, but yeah, you can that, make all your one. own. You can make all your own little oil cloth bags yes. with all of that, all of that wonderful vintage dipsy fabric that you already have. There you go. All the fabric you've already got. Turn everything into oil cloth. Buy one, get one free on your fabric coats because you need plenty of it, right? Now, I've done that one. I've also done uh, a bit of the plain fabric, right? 
Uh, and I've actually done two pieces. Just to have a look. I'm just going to get a, a, a little baby wipe and make sure I'm cleaned up on here. In fact, to be honest, I might just take this out. Might just take this out of the way and pop it down here. Um, there we go. Because I'm doing. I'm back to my sewing now. Put my paper craft mat away. Now in the magazine drawer, you do get this whole happy camper picnic set. And what I love is I've just, I'm going to do the simplest thing because I know we're running out of time as well. I'm going to do the little wrap. If I didn't want to, I knew I wouldn't have time to sit and make another bag, right? But you've seen me make a lovely bag today and you get the idea. Now inside the uh, magazine, you get full instructions on how to do this. So look at some of the things that we've got. This is the Happy Camper Picnic set. This is the project I'm going to make for you. Loads of little top tips on there as well. But you get a, you do a food carrier, a little picnic caddy in there as well. But there's loads and loads of step-by-step -step projects in the magazine. Honestly, our magazines are incredibly popular. People just, people just love them. Just love them for all the ideas and the instructions, okay? But I'm going to do here we go. I'm going to do the serving utensils roll. It's actually super easy. So let me just show you. If I take this out, this is the pattern, okay? So I've, I've, I've done my pattern. I've actually cut all of mine out ready, all right? So if I just show you, I've got the, this is my back piece. I've got uh, this piece folded in half, all right, which is going to go on the front. And then I've got my uh, front panel, which, and I've just got a little bit of the wadding as well. And just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm going to use our stick and stay. All of you fabric people out there, if you don't have this, honestly, get on the website and get some, because it just makes all of your um, fabric crafting just so much easier, right? So I'm just using this to hold that in place while we go around, right? And then this is my base panel. So I've just folded it in half. This is the side, obviously it doesn't have the fabric coat on. This is the side with the fabric coat. And I'm just going to go and just give it a little tack jaw all the way around the outside there. So just back on the machine and just give it a little tack so that it holds it in place. Um, and the good thing is with that uh, with that fabric coat on, it's kind of, uh, the, the bit of friction's holding the two together. Half meters? Do you think you could do with a with one tub of fabric coat, Sarah? Do you think? Ooh, I wouldn't like to say. I haven't used enough of it to be able to give you to be able to give you cover. Do you know what? If there's any of our sores on here watching, yep. can get, I bet people can tell us. Uh, okay, no, give us we'll a bit find of advice out. on that. Let's have a look. Right, I'm going to go down the next one. Uh, so I'm just going to stitch all the way around the outside here, Joe. Get this first piece tacked in place and then we can move on to the next stage with it. Wonderful. Now very, very busy again. I just wanted to let you know about those Riley Blake fabrics. I know half, over half the stock uh, has sold out and gone here on these. So what you've got here are the beautiful cactus um, fabrics that you've got. So you're getting three of these. You're getting the, um, the lovely mustard, that beautiful uh, gray, and you're getting uh, the blue there. Then you're getting the um, sort of ditzy florals. Again, you're getting them in the, the mustard and the uh, sort of peachy coral. And you're getting it in the, uh, with the, um, the mustard and blue with the coral and off white. You've then got this really lovely sort of modern print here as well. And that one you're getting in the teal, the peach and the off white. You've then got this wonderful, these are all half meter pieces as well. I'll put one of these up and show you how big that is in just a minute. Then you've got that lovely statement floral. And again, in the blue, the peach and the off white. And then you've got the one sort of piece of fabric that pulls them all together. So this is the teal fabric with that sort of um, hexagonal border. So it's got, on this one's got all of the different um, colours within it. So you can see the sides of it. It's a great, uh, a half metre piece. If you're looking for projects, half yard projects work beautifully uh, with these as well. So think about all of the bags, the wraps. Um, I think Sarah's using a half metre piece at the moment as well. So it's perfect to allow you to do a lot of different projects. Really, really versatile half meter cut it down into fat quarters if you want to 40 pounds three pounds 33 per half meter is what you're looking at there on that 40 pounds well over was it three quarters of the stock had gone there uh, almost three quarters of the stock has gone there and don't forget the fabric coat you get two of these uh, here so normally one would be 20 uh, you normally pay 29.98 uh, for one however 
uh, you're paying 29.98 for two, uh, which is fantastic value. So make sure you stock up on those. How are you getting on with your sewing there, Sarah? Oh, good. Sorry, I just jumped onto the next stage, Joe, um, while you were talking. All I've done, though, you haven't missed much, right? I've gone all the way around the outside with this, and then I've just stuck. I had a piece of ribbon here. I've just stitched that down the side. And what I'm going to do is, that is my piece with the, the wadding on the back. I'm going to pop this just inside out the way. And then I'm going to take the other piece of the fabric, stick it on the back, right? And I'm going to just sew all the way around the outside there, Joe. So I'm going to hold it in place with a couple of little uh, quilting clips. It was a bit of a challenge. I hadn't brought my Teflon foot. <laughs> I haven't got a Teflon foot for my machine. My machine. Did you see, he's having a bit of a drag on that. I'm thinking, crazy. But obviously it's because it's it is like Teflon now, right? You do need to leave a bit of a gap to turn this through. So I'm going to leave a bit of a gap here. And I'm just going to stitch all of the outside pieces. I'm just going to go all the way around the edge, and it'll be quite quick because we're um, because we're stitching onto the regular side of the fabric now. Would you leave a bigger turning hole for this than you would a regular fabric? Uh, do you know what? It's, it's not too big of a project. Well, let's have a look. We'll do the turn. We'll do the hole now, right? So we'll get to here. I'm going to go a little little bit back here. Stop. Right. Leave a hole to round about there, I think should be fine. She says, watch, we'll struggle turn it through now. No, I'm sure I'll be all right. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to give it a little bit of a back stitch. So you can see how quick it is here. Just Why do you give it a back outside. stitch, Sarah? Just because I'm a little bit heavy handed when I'm turning round. And uh, I've learned the hard way to, uh, I just learned giving it a bit of extra support really doesn't hurt, right? Uh, Christine's a new sewer and she's asking, what is an oil cloth? Right, so oil cloth is what you're going to do. So you know if you're doing, um, or oh, if you're putting, a, if you're doing a tablecloth for outside, you wouldn't use just fabric. You would use fabric that has that shiny surface on the top. That's what oil cloth is. It's it's fabric with the shiny surface around the outside. Is the there will be an official way, and there's probably some of the proper sewers out there watching me shouting, uh, giving a proper answer for this job. But just if you're just wanting like what what a what a Sarah explanation is of oil cloth. That's that's a proper Sarah explanation of oil cloth there. Okie doke. Does that make oh, sense? So, uh, yeah, um, so Ellen is saying, yeah, so uh, it's waterproof, something that could be around water um, yes. as well. Wonderful. Do you know the brilliant, um, I buy a lot of oil cloth because things for the kids, you know, I want it to be, um, let's have a look, I'm just getting all my fabric nice and, it's nice and smooth here. Uh, I want to be able to rub over. So for us, it's not just about outside, it's about, you know, when they're painting and things like that, you want so to be able to rub over. So good for things like aprons and bibs oh, and all those kind of things. Per absolutely perfect for aprons and things like that I'm just having a bit of a rare uh, because because yeah, I put I probably should have stitched with my wadding on the top to be honest would have been an easier would have been an easier stitch so I'm just going to finish that all the way around that whilst you're doing that I just want to quickly give you a recap on the mystery bag 60% of a big stock has gone it will I think it will definitely sell out after the show so if you're watching this back defo check back and see what the stock situation is you're going to get two full meters of fabric in here you're going to get a meter bolt you're going to get uh, some of our um faux leather you're going to get a couple of stencils in here a couple of multimedia dies a, a cd rom you've got an ink pad and some twine so you might get a variant on colors and types but you will get one of absolutely everything very very busy on that as i said over 60 percent has gone there how are you doing there sarah i'm all the way around job this is like your speed, your speed sewing speed today. I must sewing. say, you're, you're so really I'm, going when for When I'm it. at home, I'm not having to go this fast, let's just say. Uh, it's just because we're, <laughs> we're here in the studio. Let's have a look. I've got a little bit of excess wadding as well. So I'm just going to cut all of all of that off around the outside. And this is, this is a brilliant... I just picked a nice kind of beginner easy project as it was. So I'm just going to get all this... And all, it, it is just a nice, simple... Um, just a picnic roll so it just finishes it off this is nice to put all your cutlery and your utensils and things like that in so we've just put a nice simple little pocket you could be doing these by the way if it's not oil cloth you could be doing these just in regular fabrics for your um oh you know like on the table little napkins napkin rolls oh, yeah. or whatever right so gone all the way around the outside get a little bit of that wadding off there on the top corner i always like to just cut it a little bit bigger when the when the sizing's not important on the projects where's my bin gone right let's have a look if i left that turning circle big enough we'll soon find out won't we right uh, here we go so into here because it is oil cloth it's going to take a little bit more 
Oh, prob oh yeah, yeah, maybe I should have left it a bit bigger, Joe. Uh, don't mind me, folks. Just, uh, just, just <laughs> going to be a minute. I mean, it's all, it's all right. You'll get the idea. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit, a little bit more pushing through. So I'll sit and get that pushed through. Uh, so if you want to recreate, remember, if you want to go for all of the happy, if you want to create all the happy camper um, picnic kits, it's within So Inspired. So in So Inspired, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get the stencils. You're going to get one of the uh, fat quarters, but you're also getting uh, that happy camper kit as well as well as um the magazine itself which has uh, 34 different projects in it now also on the show today when you go for it you're also getting as well uh, one of our six piece fat quarter bundles now the fat quarter bundle is worth more than you're paying for the magazine and the fat quarters I so let me get a couple of these just to get the fat quarter yeah, absolutely, and then maybe give the magazine to a friend. Yep. Uh, so you're going to get that lovely fabric that you've just seen Sarah using there. Uh, you've also got it again, but in a lovely sort of blue colour there for you. Sort of green blue. The wonderful red fabric to break it up with. You've got the beautiful florals there. And then also you've got uh, an, a sort of a, a greeny, uh, jewelly, jady greeny one to break it up with. And then also you've got that lovely... Uh, print very country kitchen, isn't it? All of these um, uh, fat quarters, which is perfect, of course, for your uh, for, for your picnic the oil set. Cloth. I did, I did kind of plan all this to go together, Joe. I'll be really honest. I thought, um, do you know, if we're going to have the fabric coat, when I heard that we had the fabric coat in stock, I was like, right, if we've got fabric coat in stock, I'm absolutely going to be showing everybody how to do that. And then I knew there was this fantastic picnic set in here, which would be a brilliant demo just to show you using the oil cloth. So we're just all the way through. I could do with, uh, you know, I normally keep a big pork at the hand. But can you see, we get all that, get all that porked out. Nice knitting needle or something. That is trapped in the base here. Let's have a look. I wonder if I've got one of my bone folders handy. Give us a second. Right? No, it's all right. Sorry, I've got one. I've got one. I've got one. I knew, that, I knew there was one just at the side there. Yeah, yeah, I was like, um, you, know, you thought I was going to go on the hunt, didn't you? I could see I had one. Well, because what I've done is I've moved all my paper craft stuff out of the way to be able to do my sewing show. So then all my stuff, like my bone folders, that's just over at the side of the room. Because it's ready for our Leanne for this afternoon, you see. So uh, she's got a big launch party this afternoon. Oh, so it's a fabulous show as well. There is cool. loads of great stuff on that show uh, this evening for you. Four o'clock if you're in the UK or 11 a.m. Uh, if you're on the East Coast. You won't want to miss that one. Right, get all those corners poked through. We're looking good here and we've got our little bit sewn to the side. Now, I do think nice press would just sort the job right out on that. Okay, and don't forget because it's our oil cloth, you do want to be putting that uh, piece of greaseproof paper over the top. Just give it a nice, nice press on there. Now you can do some top stitching round the outside, which would just finish it off nicely. But if I just show you, even if we don't top stitch it, I'll show you kind of the last stage that's on here, okay? So according to the instructions, the last stage that's on here is we just need to put a couple of little, um, little stitch lines in here just to allow this for you know to put your what you'll call it in your We've dividers got your utensils put the dividers in for your utensils now this is where i would have really benefited from having that teflon foot so i'm just giving it a bit of a little bit of a help along through here and then when we get to the top piece here I'm just going to give that a little bit of a back stitch yep so there's my first one and you can just about squeeze out there and then we'll put the next thing in for the other, the other little divider, kind of just eyeball it, same sort of thing. And I'm just going to do the same sort of thing up the other side. And this is quite a nice, you know, if you're just wanting something to try the oil cloth with, this is going to be quite a canny little project there, Joe. Uh, nice and easy just to get you started. There we go. All right, you did just need that little bit of a little bit of helping along. And then what you can do, if you want to put like a nice, um, nice folded divider piece in the top, because it does just folds over here. So if you want to mark where it's going to fold, you could just put a couple of stitches in there. But to be honest, I don't feel like it really needs it. I feel like that's quite a, quite a nice little project on its own. A little bit of top stitching around there, I'll just finish it off quite, quite nicely. 
uh, here we go yeah it just 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 stitches up nice and even though it's um it's got that oil cloth finish it still hasn't been too bad to stitch with just the regular foot now i do need to wear uh, i do need to stitch that i'll catch that in when we do the top stitching all the way around but can you see how this works you're going to put your should we pretend that this is our utensils we'll put our uh, our nice bone folder and our pair of scissors oh it could be like a nice sewing utensil wrap this folds over all right and then it it just rolls up like this and then once we're all rolled up this is just going to wrap around and ties because we've put this in the uh we've put this into the corner there you go you see nice nice easy little project i haven't done too bad today getting projects completed have i not my little wrap my lovely handbag that i'm going to uh, that i'm going to be sending out to someone all, all we're going to do is pick in case you missed this demo we're going to pick somebody who comments on this show uh, randomly i'm going to leave this open for people who watch the show because a lot of people in america it's still in the middle of the night for them so they can watch it through the night and um and you can see you could potentially win this as well right so yeah i've done all right project wise today uh, right wonderful i've just remembered something we're going to do joe you know we talked about the builder block and I said I said earlier on that I was going to show you how to do the um how to do these yeah but then Jen was going to show you how to do the alphabets we need to get Jen, apparently we've had tons of people order the builder block so I feel like I need to show you the alphabet because I did promise so we'll have Jen show you the alphabet and then we'll come back with Joe's craft vault at the end for having me here. Um, I'm loving seeing you with the soft craft, Sarah, I gotta admit, because I've been sewing up a storm, being home, staying home. I had to show you this because I know if you're like me and wanting to make what's being called a quarantine quilt because you've got the time, check it out. It says home, because that's what we're all doing. We're all staying home. We've got lots of time to create. And I love the idea of being able to customize using Build-A-Block and the alphabet. So I'm gonna show you how you can not just make something like this, but make anything you wanna have customized. So any letter of the alphabet, any number, punctuation, there's even a few cute little images inside the Build-A-Block alphabet and number set. It's one of my favorite Build-A-Block sets because it's so diverse. Let me show you what you get in this set. So when you pull open, this is how it comes when you get home, this nice block, it all stores super nice. And when you pull out the drawer, you're gonna get all of these great dies along with the instruction book, which is gonna show you how to make all of the letters of the alphabet. And then you've got numbers, hashtags, commas, periods, apostrophes, exclamation marks. And then you've got these cute little images too. The heart, the star, uh, the tree, the bear, the home sweet home. Um, and it just really makes for being able to customize a quilt or a wall hanging the way I've done here, super easy. So let me show you how this comes together. All right, I've got my dies. I'm using the square and the triangle, and you'll see in the instructions, if I were to do the letter V, my daughter's name's Violet, so let's cut out a V, and it's gonna tell you for the letter V or for whatever letter you're doing, for the background cut 13 squares and six half square triangles. So this is the square, and this is the half square triangle. So all I need to do is lay that down, So now I've folded up my whole width of fabric here. I've got eight layers this is gonna go through because these are mixed media dies. They're meant for fabric or anything thick. Uh, my sandwich, I should show you, is um, the um, bottom, a clear plate. I'm using my metal shim, but depending on how many layers you wanna go through, you can decide if you want to uh, use your metal shim or not. But I'm going through eight layers, so I'm putting my metal shim in. And then I'm putting down my plastic shim and my top plate and I'm just running it through the Gemini. And then check it out. I've got my half square and I've got my squares perfectly cut. Look at that. 
That's what's amazing about the Build-A-Block system and using dies to cut out your pieces. So I've got my squares and my half squares and then I'm gonna do the same and I've already done so with the white and the half squares. And now all you're gonna basically do is follow along this pattern. So I can see I need one, two, three blocks. One, two, three blocks for the first row of my V. And then I need a half square triangle block. So like this, and like this, and then I need one white square. And then that's gonna be the first strip. And now you can make six, nine, uh, 12 inch, let me just look at the beginning because there's so many different sizes that you can make. In the extra small dies, you can go down to as low as six inch and then it, the dies just get progressively bigger until you can make up to a 12 inch block, which is what I'm doing here. And then all I need to do is sew this row to the next one, to the next one. And to do that, put your right sides together and you're gonna wanna use a quarter inch seam. So with everything nice and even, bring it over to your sewing machine. I'm just sewing a quarter inch seam right down the end, nothing fancy. You don't have to backstitch or anything like that. There we go. So now that I've got these two sewn together, I'm just right sides together, sewing it to the rest of the row. And Sarah, I know you can appreciate, and many people watching uh, will appreciate, that sometimes we think quilting is a lot harder than what it really is. And I know on your sewing journey, Sarah, you have often talked about, oh, I don't know if I can make a whole quilt, I'm not a sewer. But really, there's nothing fancy to it. It's just sewing straight. And the feet, usually on most machines, are so good now that it helps you stay on track. So there you go. This is the kind of thing that if you've got kids at home and you're looking for activities to do during these times, um, this is the kind of thing that they'd really love, being able to put the letter of their own name on the front of a pillow. It's a very easy, simple sewing project that you can do within about an hour. Uh, that's about everyone's attention span, right? <laughs> that's what we're learning these days. Um, and then you've got that material and these um, tools for you at home. If you wanna do something bigger, like what I've done here with the big home quilt. Is it upside down? Yeah, I mean, turn those letters into something awesome like this that you'll be able to snuggle up with. And this will be a bit of a memento that you can make during your time at home uh, with your kids or even just on your own. So I'm so happy to share uh, the build a block alphabet set with you today, Sara. I hope you are inspired and everybody watching is inspired. If you make something with it, tag me. I'm dying to see what you all come up with. So back to you, Sara. She's so good, our Jen, isn't she? And do you know what? It's nice. It's nice to have one of the professionals take on it. Now, bear in <laughs> mind, the alphabet set and I did a project with the alphabet set two weeks ago so don't just think it's only for professionals I've kind of gone back to base I've done it back to front I've gone back to basics today after I did the alphabet a couple of weeks ago this is your freebie so you buy the builder block set 99 pounds or 139 dollars the alphabet set comes as your freebie and as you saw there it works in exactly the same way as what the builder block does but you're going to be making all of your own. I think this is just lovely. And it's so super simple because each, basically each one is just a square ready for you to do. So it really is super simple. So I want you to give that a go. Now bear in mind the whole show, we've had some phenomenal deals, whether it's the Builder Block, whether it's the Fabric Coat that we've just had on with the So Inspired magazine, whether you're going for the bag making dies, we've still got some of that Riley Blake fabric, however, not very much left. Uh, we've still got some goodie bags, but not very much left. So it's been it, I think it's been our busiest sewing show that we've had since we started these shows I hope you've enjoyed it if you've got anything you'd like us to see make sure you let us know in the comments however the show is not over oh no the show is kind of just beginning because Joe has got to buy one get one free on some amazing products in the craft vault
I need to get a ukulele and learn that thing tune, I think, the opening of that. Maybe that would give me something to do in my spare time. Uh, yes, it is Craft Vault. Uh, it's where you find some of the best deals of the week. Uh, we bring it to you in our shows. Uh, if you're looking for the Craft Vault deals, you will find them within the show you've just seen. So the Soft Side of Life, within there you'll find these Craft Vault deals and they're tagged with the Craft Vault logo on them. So that is where you'll find them. And basically, they always have a thing. Today is buy one, get one free. And I have been having a good old rummage uh, around the warehouse having a nag uh, with all of the lovely people over at HQ to get you some great deals. Now, and that's exactly what we've done. So uh, the first one we've got for you is a 10 mil and 12 mil snap button refill pack. Now I know so many of you have the machine that allows you to put these snap buttons on. So what we want to do is give you uh, the refill packs which allow you uh, to top up your stash basically. So you've got the 10 mils and the 12 mils as well. You've got some in the uh, silver finish, some in the gold finish, and they come in the little carry case as well so you keep them all nice and safe and this is about you putting all of those gorgeous snap fastenings onto a whole host of different projects whether it is your cushions whether it's duvet covers whether it is um, your clothes as well uh, these go on fantastically they're also great on uh, things like uh, babies, um, sort of bibs and baby grows, all those types of things. Uh, so there's loads, uh, loads that you're going to be able to do with these, and there's also loads in. You get 30 of the 10 mil and 30 of the 12 mil, 6.99 or 9.99. You buy one. You get one free. You do indeed. Uh, now, zips on a roll. I don't know why I want to do this when I say zips on a roll. I'm not sure why I always want to do it. give it a dance move. Um, I don't know. Yeah, this is what it's like living in my head. Uh, in here, these are the zips, but these are the concealed zips. So you know when you have like a really nice fancy dress or something, and up the back you can't really see the zip. You just see the two seams that meet together. It's these zips that have done that. Or maybe when you've got a cushion and you can't see the zip in it, I think it gives your project's a really nice uh, finishing touch. Uh, if you've got things like um, sort of wicker furniture outside, you want to recover uh, the cushions on those, you're going to want to have a concealed zip in those too. These are those for you. They're on a roll as well, which is fantastic. So it means uh, you've got 10 sliders and five meters of zip. Now you've got it in two different colors. This one here is the, uh, this is the denim. Uh, and then this one is the grey. So normally it'd be $9.99 for one, however, today is part of this deal, because it is a craft fault. You buy one and you get one free. $9.99 or $9.95 if you want to go for those. Now, something I absolutely love and adore is our cute companion. So what you do is, in this deal, you're paying for Dexter the dog. Now, let me just show you what you've got in here, because it is quite unbelievable, the value you've got in here. You've got all of your pattern, all your explanation about all the abbreviations, that's all in there. If you want to see these basic stitches I believe it was two weeks ago uh, I did some crochet in the show and took you through the basic stitches you've got all the accoutrement that you might need you've got his eyes you've got your stitch markers your darning needles in there as well you've then got in here as well I'll just show you uh, two balls of yarn I don't think you could buy the yarn for $7.99 alone you've got the hook and you've got the filling as well so that is a complete project that you've got there uh, oh, when I started crocheting it was actually a kit like this that I used to start uh, practicing with and actually learn, taught myself uh, to crochet. So $7.99 to, to learn a new hobby is fantastic. However, it's even more fantastic because you don't just get one project, you're getting two. These are like, they're, they're not a teething ring, that's definitely not what they are, but that's what they remind me of. It's kind of for babies to hold on to. And you can see you've got the little hook or handle in there that allows you to use that. Uh, you've got, I'm just gonna grab that, do bear with. Uh, you've got all of your instructions again uh, within here. You've got your uh, hook, you've got all of the bits and bobs that you need exactly the same principle uh, in there too so what i would do is i'd probably say keep both i'd definitely start with dexter and then i'd do the fox afterwards as well but 7.99 gets you all of them this should be 22.98 in the uk you're paying 7.99 for it. it's amazing value for money um now embroidery i better put me instructions back in there can you imagine some poor person here at HQ will start trying to approach that going there's no instructions. Uh, the embroidery, now we call this embroidery thread. Uh, you uh, in the US call it embroidery floss. If you've gone for our kits, maybe you want to stock up on the embroidery. If you love hand embroidery, these are just brilliant. And you're going to get both of these included. So you're going to get the rich tones and you're also getting uh, the neutrals collection as well. Should be $7.99 each. However, today you are getting um, all of them for $7.99. Eight meters in length each, and it's a six pack. So what's that, Johnny, in meters? 
the test Johnny's maths. Six times eight. 40 metres in each one of those. You get 80 metres for 7.99. Good maths, Johnny. I think he might have used it. I think he might have used a calculator. Uh, <laughs> uh, so don't miss out on those. Uh, if you've seen the multimedia dies that we brought to you in the show and you're thinking, I'd love more of them, we've got them for you here. Uh, nesting butterflies is the first one. And these are great. Now, even if you're not a sewer, but you want to make soft craft projects, these are going to be your friend if you've got a Gemini. Because use these uh, as applique pieces. You can just glue them on if you want to. You don't need to sew. Uh, you could glue these onto bags. You could put them onto clothing, uh, even if you've just cut them out. If you are a uh, more confident sewer, of course you could sew them on. You could even make um, little shaped earbud cases out of those. You can make butterfly shaped uh, earbud cases. Jen Tryon actually did it as a, a project on her So Good show. So go find the project there if you'd like to use that. And then what we've got here, this is a really fantastic die. This is the Hibiscus Hawaiian Applique. Hawaiian Applique is a sort of form of applique. And what you do is you take a piece of fabric, you fold it in four, you put it against the die and cut it. And then what it gives you is it gives you that wonderful uh, shape that you can see there. Again, whether that's going to be the center of a quilt, whether it's going to go on a cushion. Uh, you can, of course, use the just the corner on its own if you want to and just have it as a, a flourish or a corner uh, embellishment. So loads of different ways, again, uh, to use that. $29.99 is what you should pay for the Hawaiian um, one. However, you're going to get the nesting butterflies as well for the same price. Now, remember, all the deals that are in the craft Fault today are within the show you've just seen so go uh, to the uh, softer soft side of life show and in there you'll find all the craft fault items don't forget about all the beautiful things that we brought you in the soft side as well specifically the Ray Blake fabric I know that is going to sell out and also the mystery bag is very very busy now do you remember Pam bought one of the rabbit kits a few weeks ago the lovely Pam Craven she never crocheted before she's completed it and I must say I think it looks amazing. There is Rupert the rabbit. So if you are thinking about trying uh, one of these for the first time, that's exactly what the lovely Pam has done. And I think that looks amazing. So congratulations uh, and well done, Pam. Uh, we've had a wonderful show. It's not the end of your day here, however, on Crafters TV, because I'll be back this evening at 4 p.m. in the UK or 11 a.m. on the East Coast with Leanne for the launch party. So I'm gonna go and have some lunch. I've made myself a fabulous salad. I'm very pleased with it. Um, and uh, I'll see you back here in a few hours. Uh, have a great day if I don't see you, uh, but hopefully see you back here in a few hours. Take care.